No, you wrote it, nigga. You wrote it. <laughs> you, you, you got beat by a nigga who quit. <laughs> kids, fuck them kids, M- Milan. I'm a big guy. The thought of pink nipples drives me insane. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you are now watching Zooming with the homies. What's poppin'? Hi. Um, apologies, everybody. Um, I accidentally sent out a Zoom link, and we just switched over to a new platform. So I was hitting people up like, "Yo," <laughs> I just I just realized that six fifty eight, and I was like, "Shit!" I, I looked at it. I was like, "I thought he was changing," but I was like, "Hey, what do I know?" I clicked the link. I was sitting in the waiting room. I was like, "All right, I'm ready." <laughs> that was absolutely my bad. And I know uh, Cleo is probably still in the waiting room. Because um, I said, I got the email from Cleo. It was like, yo, Cleo's in the waiting room. And I was like, oh, shit, we supposed to be on StreamYard. So that's my bad. Let me let me text everybody again individually because I just put a group text. Like, yo, come here because I messed up. <laughs> that, was my bad, guys. That, was, that was absolutely my bad. Um, but thank y'all for pulling up, man. Welcome to another episode of Zooming um, with the Zoom homies. With the homies. Yeah, I got to got to get that boy right there. Uh, but you know it's coming. It's it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's it's a you lot, man. Today, Monday is my long day. Mm. Huh? I said you need me to record What's your that? theme song for you. You need me to record your theme song for you. Zoom oh, I mean, I might, I might need that. I might need that. You <laughs> feel me? Um, hey. everybody's pulling up right now. What up, Cleo? Mr. Slick. What What's going hey, on? What's going on? How it's are good you guys? to have you here, man. Hell um, yeah. Hi, Miss Hedrine. How are you, love? Hello there, Slick Living is what we're going by today. I like that. I like we'll that. By that. Yeah, Hello absolutely. there. Hello there. <laughs> uh, Cleo, I forgot to hit you up over the weekend to, to link up with you, man. But I gotta um I need you to text me the camera. I was buying okay. this new subscription for the new platform. Yes, and sir. I was like, it came down to like, it was two different ones. I could pick the regular one. Then there was an HD option. I was like, until I get that camera that Cleo got, I don't need the HD just yet. But Can you just put I- it in the chat, what it is for all of us? It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Yo, that camera, right makes, that camera makes life jealous. Life be like, God <laughs> damn, I wish I looked that good. <laughs> um, man, listen, I, when I did the power line thing uh, this Halloween and Canon stepped forward and wanted to partner with me and they, you know, they sent me all this stuff to shoot the actual video for it, but they were getting more into the live, uh, live streaming uh, aspect of their company. So mm-hmm. they upgraded their Canon EOS R to be able to have uh, streaming um, specifications to be able to make it look like this. And uh, right. bro, I love it. I that love shit it. Is crazy. Nice. Yes, sir. I, yeah. I don't get jealous often, Cleo, but when I do, it's of your camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that, brother. I'll take it. That, that camera is clean. <laughs> I was just looking at it like, damn. I feel like you know, you uh the new iPhone came out, but you like three, three models behind. That's what I feel like. I like my shit's my camera still got a home button, and <laughs> we're texting on a flip phone when you come to the show. My, yeah. my yeah, camera still, still got a headphone jack. He out here with that new new, and I'm jealous. Come so, on now, nah. come on now. Nah. It it's looks good on you, man. It, it, it looks it looks good on you. So yeah. uh, you, I know Tangerine wanted you to put it in the thing in the chat, but you could text it to me. You could you uh, you could text the, that group chat I just put together with all of us. I just put it in there because oh, I'm gonna yeah. find it tomorrow. I I need. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, Christian Holmes, crafts underscore on uh, Instagram. She made the the logo that you're seeing at the top uh, of me. She made a patch out of it, and it is super duper dope. I'm super excited about it. So shout out to her. She's done a couple of people. I think she did Tony Baker. She did Kev. Right. 
Um, it's super dope, but yeah, uh, super fire. I appreciate that. And I might get some stickers made. So if you guys are interested in stickers, especially if yeah. you're in more mob, let me know. And um, I'll, I will put an order in and we get those going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We're still waiting on Keisha E and we're still waiting on Rob Hayes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They they might still be in the. Uh, well, Rob liked it. He said they. Um, he said I don't know. Uh, let me let him know the new link is for. Yeah, hopefully he um clicks the new link. But anyway, uh, we gonna get it going. Oh, here comes Keisha E sliding on in this thing. Um, what up? Oh. Hey, boo. Switch it up on me, huh? That's like a twitch. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know. You had to act brand new. Knocking on the door. I'm like, I know you hear me knocking. That was me too, boo. That was me. We was waiting. What's up, y'all? Hey, gorgeous. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> hey, that was my bad. That was my bad. But we yes, her hair is flowing. We got it together now. Anyway, um, <laughs> we got a fantastic show for y'all, as always, man. We always have a great show. Always have good energy, man. I've been shooting all day, so if I seem a little tired, that's that's literally all it is. Uh, this shooting, man, has been yeesh, it has taken a lot out of me, but um, it's, it's, it's great, man. We get to make content. Did y'all ever think that y'all would be making content like for a living? Like, you know, you grow up, you think that, like, um, you think about um, actors and stuff, you'd be like, man, I just want to act, but did you ever think that you would be creating content for a living? Like, this is. This is what you do. No, I thought I would just have to keep auditioning and asking people to hire me. And I thought that was the only way in. I thought I had to have the biggest agency, one of the top three that, you know, that had all the A-list actors. I thought that was my only way in. And now I'm like, oh, I could just grab my phone and push record. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Look um, how funny I am. Y'all know I'm late to everything. I was watching Girlfriends. I was like, is that Tandre? Ah, yes, okay. yes. I am Karen on Girlfriends. I was almost recurring, and then it got canceled in the middle of the season. So there's uh, there's my law. Yeah, mm. thanks. Thanks for bringing up that memory. Thank you, boo. Thank you. It's, it's well, crazy, listen, man. We're going to go ahead and jump it off and get the uh, episode started. Let me do these intros yeah. real quick, and then we're going to have a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first and foremost, I would love to welcome back to the show. It's always a good time when she's here. The energy is always amazing. She's an amazing host. She can host any and just about everything. I've seen her host everything except for a funeral, um, which I'm sure at some point she probably has. Ladies and gentlemen, I she's have. an amazing actor. She's a writer. She's a creator, producer. Put your hands together for LA Zone, Miss Tangerine. <laughs> Hi. Great intro. Thank you. Yeah, I have done funerals and weddings. I'm about to do a divorce party at the end of this month. I, I Come on. Absolutely. I love it. We, mm. we, we need that. We need that. Um, <laughs> next up, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you heard him uh, talk about his performance. Um, it was one of the best of the year. One of the best things of the year. Um, he, You've seen him in multiple movies. You, you might have seen him on an episode of House. Because uh, I, when, I, when I saw him, I was like, oh, yo, 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 yo. It's just crazy. <laughs> um, but one of the amazing content creators of our day. His brother is uh, Zordon. He he just masters everything behind the lens. Uh, super blessed to have both of them on life. He is an amazing actor, creator, uh, producer, director, uh, streamer, because I feel like that's going to be a, a, a real thing in the, in the future, very near future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show, Mr. Cleo Thomas. Thank you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be back. Love it, love it. We're going to have a great show tonight. So many great folks. It's going to be dope. Hey. Right, man. What, uh, what, what you been up to, Cleo? Mr. Slick Living? What you, what's new with us, buddy? Man, uh, this Batman Beyond training has been kicking my ass. <laughs> Batman Beyond has been kicking my ass, bro. Um, I'm training with Guy De Silva, who is the Black Panther stunt double. So every time you saw Black Panther fighting, it was actually uh, Guy De Silva. So he's been running me through the ringer, man. But we, we're having so much fun, and I'm really excited for everyone to get a chance to see this Batman Beyond project when it's ready. I will say wow. this: the mustache looks a little fuller. So whatever you're doing, keep it up, man. The mustache is, is looking a little robust, man. It's it's a good look, man. To hear, if it wasn't for you, no one would have ever said anything about it. But I I don't understand why it now follows me. Everyone's like, "Where's Cleo's mustache? Where's Cleo's mustache?" I never wanted this. I only wanted here. But because of you, now I get bullied into like, "All right, let's see what the beard do." It ain't What's gonna go far. 
Get it nice. Get it keep, keep it going. Keep it going. I, I, I'm loving it, man. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this 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 next person is making a ma amazing rounds all around the country. She travels between here and Detroit because she has to go back and feed the city. Uh, she has tons of events going on. Now. She built a high school back in Detroit, and right right now she's currently shipping. 5,000 washcloths to Detroit because they haven't had any washcloths there since the late 1970s. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a comedian, an actor, a content creator. Y'all put your hands together right now for Keisha E. Bow, 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 bow. That was the most trash intro I've ever had in my life. <laughs> washcloths in this? So now we dirty? Is this what you're doing? No, no, no. You're preventing the dirt. Y'all had just been using your hands before. Oh, we oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That's better. I'm, I not, guess. I'm not gonna do this with you here today. Because we already know I don't have any East St. Louis jokes because there's nothing there to fucking joke about. Like it's just mm. nothing. Mm. So it's a very, I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna let you keep going. It's a very serious city. It's a very serious city. So I, I, I get it. Serious? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Small, don't get them yet. Uh well, Keisha, it's very good to have you here. Uh super excited. Thanks, uh sure. ladies and gentlemen. Next up, um, this brother is an amazing writer, uh, director, content creator. Um, he has a couple rooms on 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 uh, Clubhouse too, but he, he doesn't do too much talking. He'll have a thousand people in there, and he'll just be like, hello. And then he'll just kind of phase out. Uh, just recently found out one of his favorite things to do is watch documentaries uh, and learn a lot from there. Ladies and gentlemen, you see him with the cool ass hat on. Put your hands together right now for my dog, Mr. Rob. Hey! What's, What's good? Going What's going on with you? Shoot, nothing much. I just left the Mary J. Blige appreciation room because it's her 50th birthday. So we was jamming to some Mary. Uh, nice. I thought he was about to say concert. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no. It was just a clubhouse room. We was in music oh, mode, okay. playing music and whatnot. I, mm -hmm. I, I tell jokes and say stuff. I don't just say hello and then mute myself the whole time. I, I get cut off a lot. That's what happens. A lot of a lot of grown men talk over me a lot. In Clubhouse? Mm-hmm. That's everybody gets talked over in Clubhouse. That's, that's kind of what it is. I just that's love the fact he described it as grown men. A lot of grown <laughs> men. <laughs> yeah. He's a kid. For some reason, whenever I'm making a point, like some older gentleman is like, Oh, it's my time to shine. Like in the middle <laughs> of my sentence, every time. Uh, you, you have you leave a little air in there for somebody to jump in. Though, I will say that. But I'm clearly not done. I'm just a natural ellipses. Like I'm, a, I got a dot 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 in me. But that doesn't mean I'm done. Wow. Well, listen, uh, I'm super excited to have all you guys here, man. We're gonna have a fantastic show, man. I love how Rob. He's just not, he, Rob is so excited, but not so excited at the same time. But I didn't realize it was because he, he said it himself. He was like, he's, he's, he's a shy person. He doesn't really, really um, do a lot because he's shy. But I've never noticed that. And I, I guess it's because you naturally just think of comedians as outgoing people. So you wouldn't think that someone that stands in front of hundreds of thousands of people would get shy. But I guess I could definitely see that. And it, that definitely is telling of his personality. But you, Rob's house could be on fire. He'd just be like, we should probably get out of here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, fire, that fire is hot. <laughs> you making me sound I, slow. You making it no, more than just no, you know. Prove him wrong. Not Prove him wrong, Ross. Yeah. Ryan Davis is the same way though. Ryan Davis. Ryan Davis could be at a table about to sign a five million dollar contract, and he'd be like, "You guys got another pen? I really don't like." <laughs> <laughs> I really wow. like your pen. That's that's it, Rob, but that's him excited. You just yeah. you don't you don't hear from the infliction of his voice. He just he just be like he's super chill, and that that's the what I was relating to. Yeah, the inflection. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So maybe it's like maybe Talking they're, 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 Talking maybe, maybe it's just the BPMs. It's just they they got a way slower BPM than everybody else. But you gotta you gotta I like it hear them through the sentence. The problem yeah. is in my head, I'm regular speed. That's You're killing it in your head. Like in my head, I am Martin Lawrence. Like he's checking and driving. Place on stage, you know, like that's how. It is. And then I watch myself. I'm like, yo, I was just right there the whole time. <laughs> That's crazy. That's funny. 
<laughs> Rob chop, he talks in chopped and screwed. That's that's how he, he talks. Mm. Maybe Michael Watts, Michael Five Thousand Watts. <laughs> but he makes it work. Like to 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 be a comedian, a lot of people feel like you have to be on stage like Martin Lawrence and all over the place and you know moving up moving around a whole lot. But Rob makes it work for himself so much. In fact, he's been on a number of shows. He's written on a number of shows. He's written for a number of shows. He's been very successful with it. So don't ever take it as a jab or a slight that I'm talking about it about Rob, but uh, it's just it's just it's different styles. And I love it. Man, I wish I could do it. When I go that slow, I'm like, man, they're finna boo me. So I'm like, let me speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. There's power. There's it's power in dry. staying calm. I love dry yeah. Because it's, it, it's not in your face. I agree, Keisha. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's my mm -hmm. favorite. Okay. Uh, well, um, so the the we out of the what is today? Today is the eleventh. My mama's birthday. Shout out to my mama. She ain't watching, but still. This uh, this oh, is yeah. it her birthday. Yes. Okay then. All right, birthday, mama. All right then. Um, Happy birthday, Keisha, Keisha, mama. And your dad's <laughs> birthday was like last month, right? <laughs> yeah, December fifteenth. I saw your brother and you went to Aruba and I was like, First tell me all, more about your brother. Like, anytime I work hey. with my brother, I already know the next morning when my DMs are like blown up, hey. it's not about me. Tell me about Bernard. <laughs> yes, I looked him up. I looked at his page. I saw a little woman next to him. I don't care. Because if he's not happy, I'll find out when he replies to my DM. Listen. <laughs> yeah, like he'd be like, yo, who is such and such? Who is this person? I just got to follow from such and such. I'd be like, oh, nobody, nobody cares about me. Yeah. yeah. I, Listen. His birthday next month. This is when it gets awkward because Tangerine was like, "Tell me about your your brother." And you know she married. You be like, "Wait, can I right. tell her? I don't want to." <laughs> I don't even want to be in there. Why'd you bring that up to here? You a hater? <laughs> I didn't bring up anything like, on your yeah, end. I'm right? playing this watcher right now. Uh, and <laughs> we have an understanding. <laughs> if he was watching, we, we'd see it in the chat. He, he yeah, he's be cussing. Be elephant trunked it, or he'd be like, hey, tangerine, and come on, let's shit down, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he would tell me to move out like he always does. Well, I ain't going nowhere. We stuck together. We're quarantining together. But listen, Bernard, listen. You see how to spell my name? It's on the bottom of my screen. You holler back, okay? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jesus. No games played. All no. pressure. My home straight face. He has a, Dry he, humor. He trains um, kids from, like, young kids all the way up to high school kids because he played, like, pro ball. And one of my homegirls was like, yeah, I'm trying to sign up. I'm like, you are not trying to learn how to play basketball. First of all, you're damn near 40 years old. You ain't never played basketball in your life. Now Did you I mention private lessons. I played basketball in high school. We were undefeated. Does that count? Can I Can I coach with when Bernard? When last time you played basketball, Sandrine? Uh, 2001. But listen, I got skills still. Sometimes I play with my two-year-old nephew. He has the court over his bed, and we, we shoot. Okay, you don't want me to be happy. I see that now. You don't, you don't want me to be happy? I don't want my brother to be like to be a side happy. nigga, though. Listen, you don't know don't if your know. brother wants to be a side nigga. Your brother might have ultimate side nigga energy. That might be where he's mm. at. He might mm. suck in relationships, and but be the what? ultimate he side might, nigga. He might actually, because he's very much like, I don't have time for nothing. I don't care about nothing. That's um, perfect. Side so niggas take the trips. Even They don't have any like, of the drama. No responsibilities. This is, side this is why I'm for a side mm. nigga. A side nigga don't have to be in no pictures, which means there's no incriminating ev evidence on, on the side of the person he's seeing, but also for anybody else he want to date. You're like, weren't you just in the room with such and such? Like, no, there's no evidence of that. I told you I had to go back home to see my mom. Side it never happened. The privileges. He is the privileges. Y'all only, only focus on the negative. That's what I'm yep. saying. Only focus on the negative. <laughs> Thank you for here. First Thank you. Secondly, he's in a happily relation, happy relationship. You got him a little Lori. It sounds like you hating on us. <laughs> it sounds like you don't want us to even have a chance. It sounds like it sounds like you're cock blocking. Oh, it's already I mean, you know, shoot your, you got to shoot your shot. But so should I have him, just have him on your show? Just have him on your show, Tangerine. Shoot your what shot. show is that to hear? Shoot your shot on Tangerine's page. You can catch it on YouTube, Facebook. It's a lot of fun. Actually, to be honest with you guys, Farron and I are actually going on Shoot Your Shot. Uh, we're looking for a unicorn. So uh, be looking out for, yes. that, for that episode. Yes. Keisha will be on an episode as well. So uh, look for her on an upcoming episode. Look for Tahir and Farron on an upcoming swinging episode every Thursday on my platforms. Spelled like not, that, Tangerine. Not, not, yes, Tahir. I need all of that energy on the show. 
Here, here. Especially now that you just got done doing some lashes. Don't do that no more. I did watch that makeup video. Me, bro. It's the lip bite. Oh, <laughs> if I didn't do the lip bite, you wouldn't know I was serious. If I oh. just do this, you're like, oh, he played too much, but the fuck. Mm, yes. Oh, that's, 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 that's here. So that's like, <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> that's the indicator. I like that lip bite. That's funny. I'm going to remember that more mm-hmm. when I'm with Bernard. Mm-mm. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Oh no! Oh, the shade oh, came out. The missing member of the old school Drew Hill group. Right. To hear more. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something. This jacket is definitely a woman's jacket, right? Um, it's from this. It's from this company called Scott you got Soda. Pants. Now, I don't. I have. I, what you should say? You got shoulder <laughs> pads. No, I don't have shoulder pads. I like the woman's jacket was thinner than the men's. The men's was like too heavy for like LA, I feel like. So I got the woman, but you can always tell because the buttons, like guys' buttons, the snap's supposed to be on this side, and these are definitely on the side right here. So, oh, wait, but I don't think about that. Gender jacket indicator, yeah, Yeah. but we never think about it because we never wear the other gender's jacket. So remember, (laughs) he's going to look at the jackets, (laughs) right. Cleo, let me tell you why. Though. How do you stop? I don't know. Let me tell you why, uh, Cleo. Whenever he gets back. So, Please. back in the days when women used to get dressed, someone used to dress them. So the buttons are on the opposite side for the person dressing them to be able to dress them easier. So back mm-hmm. in colonial times, and they had the the the, the shoestring, wow. oh, yeah. thing, all of that. Before is all them would it would it was easier for them to dress them and take them off so that's why the buttons on the other side for women and it just always was like that i never wow. knew that was the reason to hear thank you for that you listening. wanted that women's jacket because it hugged your curves the right way don't just, let me tell you something you, let me tell you something my hips is but, killing in this motherfucker oh here. showing off that thickness i was at the pump at the gas station like like this and they saw the hips and i was like hey red i was like who me <laughs> <laughs> to hear you did the buster challenge <laughs> my butt getting big hey. I don't need a buster challenge from to here tonight I don't I want a don't. buster challenge put the hand up drop it listen bro my whole <laughs> neck is in pain because I've been watching buster challenge videos for the last two days it's Yo, too much. I've it's only seen a couple, but the one Monica did was so funny because her son was pissed. Like, you got kids. Like, you ain't doing that. I, I thought he was about to cuss. <laughs> I need to look at that one. <laughs> Every time I hear Nelly, I just look at my phone. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know mm-hmm. how, like, like they say, like, you know, you make a certain sound and then a dog gets thirsty. It's the same thing. Like, Pavlov's Law. Like, I hear Nelly. You know you get ready to see something. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy is that uh, when that song came out, it was so fire. And it was like almost one of the songs where you never like you don't do nothing to it. You don't do a remix of that. It just it's, it's getting hotter here. It's, it's getting hotter. It's to the fire, right? But how, right. the way they flip that shit, yes. yo, that yes. shit like the way they slowed it down and dropped it, yo, that shit is amazing. And I actually yeah. never heard the whole song. I've only seen the challenges. Like I have Who not looked at it. There's Who no, there's it? no song. I like there's it no too more. Much. I'm gonna play that shit for like three days straight. Whose song That's is it? Though? Meg the Stallion. Is it, I, mm. we're gonna assume it's Meg, but I don't think it because if it's, it's Meg, Meg. Oh my God, it's, I don't think it's here. Meg. But she oh, does, she does make her songs Meg. now for TikTok videos and challenges, which is the brilliant thing to do, which is sure. what a lot of the artists doing. So. For sure, Nelly's yeah. Nelly's revenue is gonna go crazy right now. He didn't have yeah. no no challenge record to oh. drop. They remix his. Yeah, they what say uh, Erica Banks is what what everyone is saying. Erica, that's who song. Who's been reading the yeah. Song? yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, when I yeah, yeah. here was out, it took me way too long to figure out I'm just kidding like Jason, like what that meant. Uh, <laughs> it's like Jason Voorhees, he's not. He doesn't joke. Like, I don't... <laughs> Poor baby. Poor baby. I'm just kidding like Jason. Who is Jason? But, but in your defense, though, in your defense, that is a terrible punchline from them. Terrible. Listen, at the time, though, listen, let me let me tell you why I was fired at the time though, Cleo. Like you went to Nelly bars, bro. You was going to Nelly for quotables. And, and when Nelly said, Psych, I'm just kidding like Jason, 
unless you're gonna do it. That shit was like that. That brought that. Unless you're gonna do it, like okay. that brought that all the way back, bro. So Nelly, Nelly was good for that. Nelly, Nelly was good, boy. You know what I'm saying? Nelly was progressive. He assumed that the girl was gonna get the sports reference. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta appreciate him for that. No explanation, no Jason from basketball, no Jason from the Nets. You know, I'm just kidding, like Jason. But I thought like unless you're gonna do it. it, unless you're gonna do it. That's the ellipses right there. My bad. I love that. <laughs> oh, is this a, is this the girl who signed to the same label that Meg came from? Oh, and, I don't know. And you said, is this who this girl is? Is Erica Banks? The Clyde Thickens. Oh, oh no. shoot! Sorry, I'm, uh, I don't mean to interrupt the thing, but I yeah, that be- she she left that record label with beef, right? Because she was like exactly. She and then there was a new artist who stepped in her place, and they were saying she sounded like Meg and blah blah blah. But if this is this girl, oh, like, oh, oh she's out of here! Oh, with she's that. killing it! Yeah, somebody's doing the same thing Meg, Meg was doing. doing. They said that she's on Meg's uh, label. I can't see her making a challenge for that song, and she got beef with that. Um, with, with that yeah, good point. Good point. So yeah, you're right. Maybe it's not the girl, but damn, that that's, this this record's out of here. I love the challenge. For two days, I have just been watching all of it, bro. It's so dope to see the girls go from hair tied, chilling with no makeup on, to just ah in the hole. I'm like, yes, yeah, yes. I want to do one. I want to do one. You gonna do one, Keisha? I want to. You gonna do one, Keisha? Absolutely not. No. no. Keisha ain't got the need for it. Keisha would do it. She would do it with like some, some joggers on, and then she would immediately go to like dribbling. Like Keisha is a time boy, <laughs> so First she would never all, get girly. <laughs> just because we was playing football, and Tahir said that I boxed him out because you don't know your sports. Don't you dare come for me. I was like, I did what? And he said it so confidently too. Like she just boxed me out. <laughs> First of all, right. Keisha, there was no need to bring that up. You just paid. For that. <laughs> He definitely I mean, you, got quiet on that. Me. I just came back. Who's echoing? I'm going to mute myself. A minute. Testing, testing, testing. Tiny Mike. Bring back Tiny Mike. I know, right? I thought about bringing because I got a couple of them now. I don't think it's me because <laughs> testing, testing, right. testing. Yeah, I'll put my headphones on too, make sure it's not. I thought it might, I thought it might have been somebody just watching it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Unless they're in the broadcast with us. But if you, I have headphones and so does Rob. So it's one of y'all, probably. Mm. Is it I? Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. I love it. I can't stop watching them. I can't. You watching them right now? I feel like you have lotion nearby. What's going on? Listen, Miss Tangerine, listen. (laughs) Did y'all see the one, the girl that works at Whataburger? And she had her Whataburger uniform on. And then when she busted, she looked totally different. Yeah. It's like in tech. It's in the south. It's like in Texas, Florida, Oklahoma. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Keisha, you don't know what Whataburger is? It used What's to be one in show? LA. Wait, which one did with Keenan and Kale? No, that's no, Good that's, Burger. That's Good Burger. I take your order. Their rival was Mondo. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, wait, thought, that's why I was like, it's a real. Keisha, but what burger you, wasn't it in Friday? I'm sorry, Boys and Hood. I'm sorry, I'm not here. Now nah, that's Fat Burger. You think about Fat Burger, uh, Tan, mm-hmm. but so mm-hmm. no, I wouldn't know. Here's the thing, Keisha. Keisha, you just you just came up with a very funny series about earning your black heart back by dissecting black movies. I, I'd I like would, to let you guys know I did watch um, Poetic Justice because I know we were doing Black Blasphemy, mm-hmm. and I know I was stressing y'all out, so I just yes. let you know that I, I have watched it. Shout out that's to Keisha. Great. That's great, Keisha. The point I'm trying to make is like that you you just came out with this amazing series about earning your black card back, and then you say yes. something like that, which just makes everything you just did. I didn't know. Important. First of all, why is it so fucking hard to be black? This is what I'm trying to understand. So now <laughs> you didn't have to try. Every day, y'all got some new criteria. Like at this point, I just give up. I'm. I don't think Whataburger is a black owned But that's what black people like, do. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a fast food place. place. Like, like, I don't like, know how your black car, you got to know all the fast food. Well, just the ones we like, the ones that the urban is like. How is that like. a we thing? Like, so all black people like Whataburger? 
But she all the way in him. Detroit, and it was all the way like Texas. Like, Facts. like how Facts. would she have known about Whataburger? Facts. We're in California. Like, we know about it. 1970 something. How did y'all see it? Was it playing at the hospital when you was born? Why has everybody watched that movie? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what movie is you talking about? The Color Purple. It was, it, was, it, was, it was one of those things around. where our aunts and our uncles watched it too, and you just was around and you saw it. I mean, how and you remember time? you remember quotables from the color purple, like "You show is ugly." Like if you didn't know that that one line from the color purple, you ain't watched it enough. Me and you must never part, Maki Dada, cause I love you all my heart. Come on, Ke come on, Keisha, y'all turn. Come on, Keisha, <laughs> come in right here. <laughs> Except you don't slide and you don't go like this. Didn't slide, Keisha. <sighs> I have a confession. I didn't see the color purple until I was grown. Thank like you. I At least you saw it. At least you saw it. I saw it like five Never years mind. ago. Never mind, Rob. I thought you were about to say something that was really going to help. Wait, well, here's the thing. Also, Rob, Rob knows how to read a room. When Rob sees people talking about black films that he know he hasn't seen, he, he doesn't say much. Keisha, you come out and fall on the sword. You run towards the sword. <laughs> so what, you just like, Y'all don't make me feel it. bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she don't, she don't feel bad I about it at all. I owe my blasphemy. You never make me feel bad because I didn't see a movie that came out 10 years before I was born. Why? Nobody can even what? tell me what Color Purple was about. Struggle. What was the movie that Keisha said she did see, but she didn't like? And she and that's what but that's that's like said. Black, you're trying to bring up old stuff and start some mess. Yeah, let's talk what, about that. Yeah, what what, what that? movie was it Keisha, that you said you saw and hated, and it just set black black? I didn't say I, now you now you. I didn't say I hated it. I just said to me it wasn't a must see. And which was Harlem Nights. Could live the rest of my life without seeing it. I will give y'all coming to America. Coming to America was absolutely funny. I will give you that. That I will give you. The idea of giving coming to America, like Rob, you either with me or you against me. I I understand. I understand the Harlem Night thing as a movie, but as a comic, seeing all those like comedians in one film, like Robin Harris, Red Fox, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. Arsenio's in like it's so many like so many comedians in there, right? Like that's goals to me. That's one of my goals is to make a movie with like as many comedians as possible, and mm -hmm. we're all like in some setting that is you know not like our life, and just like have as many people generations you know as far back as I could go like that. That's goals. I think that we should do that and we should make mm -hmm. Keisha the lead and then never let her see the movie. Wow. See, here is so petty. Like, I, yeah. yeah. Keisha, she, she's going to have a role like Chris Brown and Stomp the Yard. Like, she's going to be all in the trailer, but then she's going to die in like the first five minutes. <laughs> Bruh. That was really a thing for people. Like, yo, there was little girls across the world that went to go see that film. Like, Chris, Chris bow. Because we knew he was going to stomp it. We was like, oh, you <laughs> made a stomping movie that, with Chris Brown? Oh, when he pledged, it's going to be crazy. And then he never even made it to the school. <laughs> it, that, happened, that happened a lot in movies. Like, Fifth Element is one of my favorite movies, man. And when it comes on, Luke Perry's there. He's drawing in the beginning. And the, the, the priest is looking at the Aziz, light, and all of that. And Luke Perry's drawing all of this. You're like, oh, Luke Perry's in this? All right, I'm all in. He's in top billing. When the movie first comes on, you see Luke Perry. And then you don't see him again after the first seven minutes. You're like, why was Luke Perry here? <laughs> so so here, trying to sell the movie. Where were you my entire life, brother? Where oh. were you? Fifth love, Element is one of my all-time favorite films. Oh I love the fact that the bad guy and the good guy actually never meet. Bruce Willis and Gary Oldman <laughs> never <laughs> see each other <laughs> the entire movie. We were oh. just talking about this. Will Ferrell does a, uh, has a new show coming out, and you have to like try and get the person to want, convince the person, basically pitch it to somebody who hasn't seen it. And this girl mm -hmm. said that movie, and I was like, nothing about it sounds. She was like, it's kind of like a sci-fi drama comedy with a music video in between. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> terrible way to describe it. Too much terrible going on. Way. Absolutely terrible, terrible way. way.
Fifth Element, Fifth Element had all the elements for an amazing movie. You had star power in there. You had a great script. You had fantastic fight scenes. You had a lady beating the shit out of guys, which is always sexy, right? And then you had Bruce Willis, who is just an action star all around. He's never not been in some action and some shit, right? Yeah. You got Chris Tucker, fresh off of his break into the movie industry in a role that you would never see him in again. Him is Rudy Ray. What? One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Come in, my man. Come in, my man. Come in. You never seen Chris Tucker like that ever again. You didn't know if he Facts. was black. You didn't know if he was straight. I mean, he had all the guys around him, all of that. But then he smashed old girl as soon as they took off. You're like, who is he? It was an amazing I don't want one position. I want all positions. Yo, Keisha, you got to go watch that movie specifically. Is this Chris like a black thing I got to watch or this is just a thing? No, no. That's this is just a thing. thing. This is just okay. a thing. You gotta it see it, and the and the opera scene when she was like she was. <laughs> I was like, what? Come on, come Love on! That nah. Love that movie. Hey, Keisha, you gotta see it, Keisha. I have it. I will buy it on Prime and send it to you. I will. I will pay for you to watch it on Prime tonight. That's that's how I convince people with movies. I did Will Show too. I was like, mm -hmm. I will buy you the movie right now. So you can watch it right after this. That's how much I believe in it. Mm. Okay. Wait, well, wait. Is, Tangerine, have you seen the fifth element? You're muted. You're muted, Tangerine. Oh, I was dropping hits over here that whole time. Y'all missed all these fire jokes I was spitting. I can tell she's saying her reaction, but we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I've seen the movie. Uh, I just haven't seen it in a long time. So I was like, yeah, you can send it to me too so I can rewatch it. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. I would definitely. That is a movie that should be in your collection. Absolutely. Sure. We have the physical one and I have the digital one because I want to never not be without Fifth Element. It's fantastic. Got it on Blu ray. Same, brother. Same. All right. Rob, give me one of you your favorite movies. The whole time? Are you mad about it? I'm just wondering. I'm just. I can switch it up for you. Just inquiring. I'm gonna go get my shades. Do you? That's how you feeling? I'm just wondering. Mm. Uh oh, he finna stunt for real. You can everybody? Can, can everybody put glasses on? I think we should. I think everybody should put glasses on. I think we should. I don't know if I got shades. My glasses are far. I got fine. We'll be here when you get back, Keisha. All right. Glasses. Is it okay. I hope my I'm panties glad. don't show because I definitely forgot to wear pants before I came on, you guys. I'll be back. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we back. We back with it. Let me see who that is with the echo. Let me see. I don't think mm -hmm. it's Tangerine. I saw people saying it was Tangerine, but I don't think it's Tangerine's mic. <laughs> Who said this? All right, we're back with the nonsense. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I knew I didn't know what my shades were. It's like a puffy video of the light, because it's like a glare. I right. told y'all we don't stop. I told y'all we don't stop. Uh, <laughs> hey, I didn't want to show shy. I didn't want to wear pants. <laughs> hey. The fact that Rob has on just the same at, at the shield. I'm so mad at the shield. With his name on it too, like. Mm -hmm. Does it have his name? Oh, it, it does. does. Hey, it does. is your name? All right, nice. I gotta even go. So that's one, that's one that you can't you can't I'm lose like, that one, Rob. Right yeah, now. nobody can steal this. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to do a rap song? You guys want me to beatbox and you guys rap? Who's first? My homie Keisha. She act like Urkel. Talking about she ain't seen the color purple. That's, it. that's all I got. Uh, <laughs> did I do that? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. You know it's all love, Keisha. It's all love. <laughs> Listen, y'all can't tell me what the color purple is about, so I don't. Yes, I can. Slavery? What? No, the color purple. Nobody can ever say. We just love watching purple. it. The color purple is about two sisters being separated because... Uh, one of them was sold to a man. 
uh, who needed who needed a younger wife to help take care of his kids. Uh, he mistreated her, and her whole her whole life she spent under the the rule of a nasty figure. And he she just wanted to get back to her sister, and she had low self confidence the entire movie until she met a uh, 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 a foe who she thought someone that called her ugly up on their first meeting, first time meeting. Mm. They say you show is, is ugly. that's ugly. how y'all, and you still have to cater to this woman. But she ends up being a great friend and building her up and building her self confidence up to the point where she started to stand up for herself and find out that her sister been trying to look for her all of these years, and she mm. built first to walk away from this abusive marriage and step out on her own to go find her sister. Color. Thank purple. you to hear. Thank you to hear. You and see it's an adaptation of a novel by a black woman, Alice Walker. Come on, Rob. Drop knowledge, Rob. Drop knowledge, Rob. I saw it on Broadway I too. Like I just saw it, so. With more of an ending um, than the movie. No, you got to still watch it. It's going to have some moments. Hopefully, it has I some moments to get you teary eyed. It's spiritual. There's triumphs. There's letdowns. It's, it's just, it's terrible. Hey, you know, Nothing. It's about a girl who found her beauty. She was ugly and then she turned into a bad bitch. Cool. Happens on Instagram all the time. No. Did you like Pretty Woman? Wow. You just described she saw that. This is the difference. <laughs> she just described a lot of stuff. But those are good movies. You want to uh, see the underdog win. Uh, no one, see, no one watches Color Purple willingly. It just comes up funny. while you switch channels and you end up crying as William. See? Y'all don't even have a good reason for why I got to see this. Well, movies that make it's you a, cry, make you feel. It's a rite mm. of passage, Keisha. Okay, nobody gonna trust your cooking until you you watch the color purple. Okay, people trust my cooking. They know. Keisha, do you know what sugar gave P is? Do you know what that is? Well, what? From the, from mm, she don't know. Gave. That means somebody could get her. Somebody from Uber Eats or or DoorDash could get her. Somebody, you don't know, know about somebody that. put a little sugar Avery in your water, your lemonade, nothing. You don't see. See, that's why you gotta watch the movie. Gotta watch. Y'all order you order that? What do you mean? <laughs> don't order it. Just <laughs> trust me, don't order it. Keisha. What do you mean? Don't order the sugar Avery lemonade. Don't whatever you do. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's oh, always and, and watching that, that movie. Guys. Watching that movie. Y'all want to bring up the color purple. I'm I am trying. Keisha, this is, is that it? You that's you, your list. You are quarantined right now. You should have a list of movies I that do. you are knocking back right now. As a matter of fact, uh oh, this is the list right here. Yes, hair flip. Yes, this is part of the list. At least, do you see how long this list is? Ain't nobody oh. got time. <laughs> and you I watched one thing. Time, you watched one time. thing on that list. <laughs> Color purple, Temptations, Higher Learning, Dead Presidents, House Party. 12, however many of them. <laughs> Above the Rim, The Wood, Jason Lyric, Tales from the Hood, Boomerang, Cool Ronnie, South Central, Clock, every, all things Spike Lee except for Crooklyn and Malcolm X, Major Pain, CB4, I never even heard of that, Blank Man, Mo Money, Low Down Dirty Shame, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, White Man Can't Jump, that don't even sound like a black movie, Booty it's Call, good. Ease By You, Blade, The Wiz, she I thought that was never seen any of these? Purple Rain, last I checked, that shit was a song. Uh, two can play that game. Training day, drum to line, Deliverance from Eva, Hustle and Flow, Stump the Yard, Last Dragon. I thought that was an Asian movie. The Inkwell, Strictly Business, Beverly Hills Cop, <sighs> Trading Places. Apparently, Goofy had a movie and he was black. Never knew. Young uh, Yo, were well, you allowed to watch uh, movie? You didn't see any of those that you just named. None of them. My friend sent me a list of like 20, 30 more. I, if I'm not black by now, I'm not black. Were well, you okay. adopted by the whites? My no. name is Keisha. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't. I come from one of the blackest cities in the U.S. I come from two black parents. I come from four black grandparents. I don't know what movies Cleo broke his chair. For me. What movies do you like? Mama's giving up. Mama, Mama Monster gave up on you. Like, Listen, don't. I'm trying. She never saw the. Uh, um, uh, uh, she I'm never trying. saw the Goofy movie. But she cool. never she saw the Goofy movie. Nobody's giving me credit for that. Y'all never said black people ain't never said. You're not gonna keep being never, able to play for the justice. You want 14 more. Y'all ain't never satisfied. She ain't seen Blade, bro. She ain't seen Ease by You. The first two I let slide. I'm like, okay, man. She got to a goofy movie, bro. What's her childhood? I didn't even know who raised her. Apparently, House he got a son. Who is what baby? laboratory were you raised in? What did they do? Keep you confined? What is up with you? 
When I'm so devil, disappointed. I'm trying to understand. So there's Caucasian. Goofy is a dog, right? What is he? Mm -hmm. We got Goofy. black and Caucasian. Goofy's a dog, dog but he's it's, it's, a, it's a talking dog. dog. Like Pluto's like, a dog like, dog. Who? How, how are you from Goofy Detroit? Like a, like a person dog. A person dog. Like like Pluto. I that's shit now that's a dog. Now black people just making shit. Beverly uh, Hills Cop. Uh, She's gotta uh, have it. Uh, School day. So what, what, my, what, what black movies have you seen? Or just movies, period. I yeah, what do you like? Hear me. Maybe y'all didn't hear me <clears throat> say I just poetic justice. If you say that one more time, I swear to God, I'm coming over there. I swear to God, I'm coming over there. Muting you. Don't do that. You just saw that. America. Okay. She just saw Coming to America. No, no, don't give her the okay. On, he didn't ask, just saw see, Coming to America. He ain't never satisfied. He said, what did you see? He didn't say when you saw it. Oh, so you just saw it because the sequel is coming out and everybody started talking about you? I'll mm. have you know I saw Coming to America about precisely almost, probably like four years now. So first of all, put some respect on that. I'm going to let you know that what you're talking about doesn't go with this hand gesture or this neck movement. I need you to bring it down a little less urban to the type of movies that you watch. Those are still necks. Those are no hands. One of my favorites. Those are still um, necks. No listen, hands. So, listen. Belly. Somebody, somebody We're not talking said, about when I saw it. That's, that's neither here nor there. To hear John, John okay. Ann says she, she's from Michigan. She is no longer from not, Detroit. Not Detroit. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you what I saw. <laughs> Dearborn. Dearborn, I'm from Dearborn, Michigan. Still, I'm not from Dearborn. Um, Redford, Redland, what's it called? <laughs> Redland, anything, anything but the actual Detroit. Dearborn is like Ocaldin. Um, you know, <laughs> Tony, listen, I'm trying to tell y'all, I've seen. She's from Southfield. Some Michigan. things. What, I'm definitely get, not. What people, I don't movie? get people from Southfield either. Be like, oh, I'm from Southfield. You be like, that's right across the street from Detroit. The bullet, you know, it can still go. It can reach. Um, no, I did see some stuff. I saw. I, okay, I named the ones. I love Jones. It got quiet. Was, it was crickets after you said that. Well, <laughs> we can't be impressed. Waiting to exhale. Um, what I got over there. <laughs> Delhi, yes. Uh, Love and basketball. That's um, a good one. I've seen Boys to Men or not Boys, Boys to Men, the music video. Boys to Men, the film. Good Boys for you. Hood. Boys in the hood. I've seen when Boys the water the ran dry, that was my favorite scene right there. And what? <laughs> hey, Rob. When what? They went to the water. It was dry. The water had ran dry. I like I like the part of Boys to Men where they got to the end of the road, Rob. Right? That was my shit right there. Yeah, that was an emotional scene. And right they there. couldn't let go. They couldn't yeah. let go. Baby boy, I just saw that, and y'all for sure lied. Two hours of my life, I can never get back. You didn't um, like Baby Boy? Hold on a second. Hold on. I like you, Keisha. I'm gonna start by saying that. <laughs> but if you're going to watch these movies and then not like them at the end, is that the, is that going to be the result here? So that's, this is what I'm saying about black people. You gotta see it, and then you gotta and like then you it. gotta like it. Can't yes. Give you a reason why you gotta like it. You well, should just like, like it because you Keisha, should relate to it. Keisha, you have you to find your tribe black. where you can be honest about not liking certain black movies. I'm gonna be honest with you because I feel like it's enough of you guys that I'm close enough. Baby boy, I never had to see it again. It was it was a it was so much negativity in there. My favorite character in Baby Boy was Ving Rhames. I loved how he was he was just rocking the shit out of Joe and a fucking I thought he was which magic. I was like, damn it, he did. Um, what's his name? Now being from LA, I love Baby Boy because it was like my hood that I was seeing on on screen. Tony, you know about the bully me that I have to see it and I have to like it. Yeah. Keisha, That's did what you I'm think saying. Ving Rhames was Michael Clark Duncan? No, no, listen, listen. You <laughs> that. that. I, I caught that. that. I caught that. You said, <laughs> oh, I thought he was dead. And I'm like, who could have? Does she mean oh, Michael Clark Duncan? Oh, Keisha. <laughs> and my friend was like. To hear. You work for CNN. Cancel her. She's undercover. No, no, She's no, undercover no, cop. Come on. Here we, come on. Here we go, guys. Um. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I've seen Five Heartbeats. Love Five Heartbeats. Love, love it. That's All a good you film. Do is with this part, with this. Y'all not gonna sing with me. Mock Mock has a good question for you. Where's your mother? <laughs> I need to speak to your mother and all your aunties. Stat. 
Uncles too. Oh. I need I need to see everybody that that was an adult when you were a child. I need to speak to them immediately. Oh. Okay. Twenty two of them. You want to call all of them on the? On I need I put them on a group <laughs> chat. Put I give you my Zoom login. Have them log in. We need to have a conference because obviously they did not take it, it take the village to raise a child seriously because <laughs> nobody was doing their part <laughs> to raise a child seriously. They didn't take it listen, seriously. Listen, guys, I had a lot going on as a kid. Okay, so I'm trying to watch them now. Y'all won't even give me credit for the fact that I'm trying to see it. Watch so them and I, like them. I got a theory. I have a theory. So you came up in the air. Free minutes was after like seven. <laughs> So you was talking on the phone. So the movies might have been on. They might not have been oh, on. But you was on the phone. I don't know what you think I am, but <laughs> no, not quite. Okay, all right. Well, I talk, I I I what movies were you watching? What can you give me one? Just give me, give me, give me top three. Give me top three films from like back in the day. Yeah, please don't say Clueless. Well, we're not. Gonna you take, you took away her favorite, I've seen that, but I wouldn't say top three. This um, is Paul Truman with the homies. Are you saying she's not a homie? No, I'm saying that's a clueless reference. Um, oh, what else? True, true. Who's another good movie? Uh, oh man, maybe films just ain't her thing. Do you have a condition where you can't sit for two hours at a time? <laughs> <laughs> that is very hard. No, 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 no. Let me think. Top three. Uh, Oh. Has she seen Friday? I've seen Friday. No, all the other Fridays. Like. He should, this is this is your next but T-shirt right here. I just, <laughs> had a lot going on as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Like all year round, and I played sports, so I really didn't. Like my brothers have seen those movies. Like they they watched them, but I didn't. I really wasn't sitting down watching movies. There's all right, guys. Let's, her, guys. Let's just, Let's just jump off of this. Yes. Because it's only going to infuriate us more. Okay. Trying to understand why Keisha hasn't appreciated and seen black cinema is like trying to figure out the root of racism. You're just never going to get to it. it so let's, sense. Just, let's just go ahead and switch it up. Um, um, shit. Uh, Rob, Rob, Rob. Um, um, what are you watching now? Last time we talked, you were telling me about a couple of documentaries that you were watching. What's, uh, what's on your screen right now, brother? They better okay. be black and you better like it. Um, you said what? <laughs> I'm watching this show on Showtime right now called Your Honor. Brian Cranston. That show is, is fucking. That show is fire. So fire. Is fire. Keisha, Keisha, could you not weigh in about any shows or movies just for like the next know, 10 minutes? Just for the next 10 minutes. Fire. If you could. It's no. fire. You like, could. I don't want to give away too much, but his, is- his son uh, was in a hit and run. And basically, he's trying to cover up for him, and he's a judge. Mm. Brian Cranston. Mm. It just peels back all the different layers, and it's yeah, it's masterfully done. Okay, um, a little bit, but it's on the documentary side, I've been watch. I watched the Reagans on Showtime, which was amazing. About Ronald Reagan goes through like all the movies that he worked on all the way through to his presidency and the parallels to like everything that's going on now to like when Ronald Reagan was, you know, in politics is it's insane. Even Dr. Fauci worked for him. Like, mm. wow. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. During AIDS. Like, like there's so many mm. parallels. Great. Plot yeah. twist. Mm, set up. I'm gonna send them and watch more documentaries. I watched the Black Godfather one. This is a little while ago, but it was real good. That was a good I'm one. watching the That's Comedy good. Store one. Does that count as a documentary on Showtime? Mm-hmm. The, the, you know, the I just story of Mitzi. It's pretty and I was like, good. I watch that one. And I'm it's watch, very uh, good. They didn't yeah. shout out um, Fat Tuesdays like they should have, which was keeping them keeping not. their money afloat when they started struggling, but. Hearing everybody else's backstory was still entertaining, so I'm not going to take that from it. I I'm hope that they shoot more of them. I'm waiting on the the comedy documentary that explores and highlights all the black nights and club and how they were the most prosperous nights mm-hmm. ever. 
mm-hmm. ever because you you would get a night where Adam Sandler comes, he does a weekend, or or you had Sarah Silverman doing a weekend, or Dan Cook doing a weekend, or one of the Waynes doing a weekend, and that, that club does great for that weekend. But we're talking about a Tuesday night. You know, we're talking about a Wednesday night. We're talking about Thursday night. A uh, Monday at the improv. A Monday at the improv. A Sunday night where the show mm-hmm. is popping so much they gotta add two and three shows. Like yes. we don't they, yes. they don't give those props to us. And you know what? It's all good. It's all good. Make sure you download Kev on Stage Studios app, okay? Because we're gonna take advantage of all it. of that. I have it. Let's go. Take care of all of that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of all of that. Hollywood don't want to give us our prop. Y'all know. Y'all know the Black Knights was popping. That's why y'all was sneaking y'all little funny looking asses in there. Oh, right? Yes. Taking up seats. Yeah. Okay. It used to be so fun. Were you living out here back when Mo, um, Mo Better Mondays was happening at the Improv? And yep. then Fat Tuesday at the Comedy Store. Yep. And then I think it was a Ha Ha Cafe for Wednesdays, Sundays, Chocolate Sundays. I don't remember who had Thursdays. But, woo, those nights were packed. All the celebs, and the NBA players, whoever's in town, everybody would come in there. That's where you would go to find your new baby daddy, Keisha. Um, it was it was cracking. And then when they need, didn't need us anymore, they would slowly phase those nights out. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, Absolutely. They no longer read in their books. Yeah. Yep. It's all good. I promise you, we're gonna take care of all of that shit and we're gonna we're gonna level these goddamn scales out because they ain't gonna keep leaving us out of these history books. They ain't gonna keep leaving us out of history, period. If we gotta tell our own history, then that's what we'll do. And if well, you're well, well, well. you can see everything. You ain't gonna like keep that. playing us like we ain't make this shit happen. I was talking, we were talking today, me and Pat were talking on um our podcast, um, and we were talking, I was telling him about endowments and how these endowments are so ridiculous for these uh, traditional colleges and university. Um, what is it? I think, I think UCLA is is it twenty three billion? Twenty three billion <laughs> in endowment. That's that's just that's that's how much the school has just on reserve. Um, let's see, uh, UCLA endowment. I'm sorry, five point three billion dollars. Five point three billion, mm. billion with the B, baby. Crazy. That it has that the school has access to. to? This is from alumni. Mm-hmm. This is from donations. This is from multiple things. Five point three billion. Stanford, Stanford has okay, I think thirty billion. Mm-hmm. Thirty billion dollars in endowment to alloc- allocate it to do what with. That could be for any and everything. Uh, uh, building. Uh, sometimes when people donate it, you have to do it. You have to use it towards a certain thing. But right. um, paying the, paying the student. I mean, paying the teachers, uh, fixing things. It just that's the 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 cost of operating everything. Like they man, it's ridiculous. They mm-hmm. got bread. They mm-hmm. have bread. Hmm. Yeah. Well. They have bread for a lot of things. They get property given to them. They get reparations. But anyway, yeah, exactly. Jen, this, this, Jen, this isn't news, but a lot. It is it common might. knowledge. Well, it's, it's available for anyone, but it isn't common knowledge because everyone doesn't talk about it. Everyone doesn't go to college. Everyone doesn't know. know. So, I didn't know. yeah, go look up. Go look up some of the the, the HBCUs and see what their endowments are. Mm. We did find out today on the show that because I was like, uh, we were talking about how. Um, um, Elon Musk is the richest man in the world now. He he surpassed Jeff Bezos. And we were talking about how much money is too much money. And if you had $185 billion, what would you do with it? And I was like, I would make sure I donated money to these HBCUs so they can get their endowments up. I was like, because no one else is doing it. But I found out today that Jeff Bezos' ex-wife donated $25 million mm-hmm. um, to, uh, it was a school in Virginia. What was the, what was the school? Um, she donated it to, uh, give me one second. That's a nice little tax write-off for her. Did you know yeah, the the Boy State. she donated it to, donated to Boy State, 25 million. It was the largest nice. donation that the school has ever had in the history of its existence. And wow. now, now the schools, um, I think their endowments is up to 33 million, which lets you know that they only had wow. eight billion in the bank. 
you UCLA's endowment is larger than all the HBCUs combined together. Mm-hmm. You can take all the HBCUs together, combine their endowment, and it's not nearly as big as UCLA's. And UCLA so is even the biggest. What about all these celebrities who went to an HBCU that are making millions of dollars? Are they not the ones making millions of dollars? I mean, people still donate, but you think about like when you donate to your HBCU, you donate, you know, $10,000, $20,000, maybe 50, right? You might partner with somebody to donate $100,000, $150,000. What's $150,000 to somebody like Jeff Bezos' wife who donated $25 million? Not saying that you have to because every little bit counts, but a lot of people don't reach back and give out like that. So I would love to make HBCUs more contenders for D1 uh, D1 schools so people coming out of high school will be more inclined to go to a university with people that look like them and -hmm. give back to those universities as well. So, Yeah. Well, you, we all know the more you make, the more you need to donate for, for your write-offs. So um, keep that in mind when you're deciding what to do with your money. It's going to be someplace black. Philanthropist. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see a comment that says Trump donated to HBCUs. Hmm. Didn't know that. I will have to do the research so I can neither confirm nor deny that. Um uh, No, she did. Somebody said she didn't donate to Tahir's school. She definitely did not donate to my school. I think my school endowment is like 1.29 million or something like this. It's very, it's very low. So mm. yeah. Aww. Tony Baker said he doesn't need a lot of money to be a Tony just needs some brown rice, some avocado, some black beans, some cat food for that and, and midnight. And some Brina. And, 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 and a decent Wi-Fi connection. Tony's Wi-Fi was trash for so long, guys. <laughs> so long. I'm, I'm so glad he finally got a better Wi-Fi connection because it was trash for so long. Bless his little heart. I, I love how humble Tony is, speaking of what he just said, because, you know, he still drives the same old kind of car. You know, he's not out here flossing like he could be. He's just he's living be- below his means, which I think we should all learn to use it as, as an example, because so many of us live in debt trying to, you know, please people who don't mm. matter. So I, I love that example. Tony Baker. Shout out to Tony, Tony Baker's car actually receive social security. That's how old the car is. It gets a check once a month. Uh, it can park in any handicapped spot, oh, even without the placard and without the plates. That. Tony Baker's car is, it is, it, it runs on steam. Uh, <laughs> and coal. Wait, well, I was wondering, I'm like, how did Tahir get in everybody's car? I mean, I know you from East St. Louis, but still, I'm like, how did he get, it was him, I think, Kev's and his wife car. Yeah. You gotta watch you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Did Miss Tangerine's Wi Fi go out? Um, it looks like it. And she went out on a funny face. Look at <laughs> screenshot it. Screenshot it and send it to her social media right now. Please. I just screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is yeah. screenshot it? Send to Keisha E's brother right now. This yeah. is what you send her. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. oh, that was funny. She was like, <laughs> going off of that tangerine in there, huh? Oh, my God, man. That's so funny. Cleo, what you watching right now, man? What's on your screens at the crib? Tell us about hey, it. You know what I missed out on? And I am so glad that I'm binging the hell out of it. I'm on my very last season of it. Breaking Bad. Uh, Breaking Bad was good. I, j- I missed that I entire that. train. I just wasn't into that stuff when it was first going on. But, bro, I jumped in, and I, c- I understand why it had the hype and the, the applause that this project had. Man, that show is good. It's yeah. so good. They did a good job with that, man. They did. I love yeah. Brian Cranston. He's good. Brian Cranston is amazing. Was, it was a couple episodes that had me like, oh, that's wild as hell. <laughs> Yeah. When the brother-in-law found out who he really was, and the bat, I was like, "Oh, that's wild as hell!" Yeah, man, man, they're he, building when, us. When he didn't like old girl that Jesse was talking to, and he broke in our house, and he just watched her, I was like, "Oh, oh bro, go wild as hell!" <laughs> There's so many parts oh, in this show that I've caught myself like mouth open, just oh shit, yeah. just like yo, I can't believe this is happening. 
So much Breaking good bad? stuff in that show. Breaking yeah, Bad. Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent show. It. We're binging that in BT's Discord right now. We're on season five. They watch a few episodes uh, every week. Yeah. It's a good show. I haven't, I haven't watched Breaking Bad, but I'm saving it. Mm. Like all the old people I know in my life, they watch the same shows their whole life. So they get older and they just watch reruns. So I want all the shows that I miss to be new. So when mm. people say a show is really good, I just save it. I'm like, all right, cool. That'll be around when I get older. I'm gonna watch that when I retire. So I'm Listen, you hope you hope it's gonna be around. Um, I, I've been trying. I was at a Amoeba. Man, I want to say this might have been two years ago, and I saw a disc set of Mama's Family. And I think it might have been like, it was like all the seasons of Mama's Family. It might have been like $99 or something. I was like, man, I'll get it in a couple months. I'll get it in a couple weeks. A couple weeks turned to a couple months. A couple months turned to Omiba's clothes. And now I can't find it anywhere. Mm. I'm not anywhere. So it might be. Hopefully Mama's Amazon Prime. Prime. Keep, I'm a, I had to check all that, huh? Absolutely. So I'm, I'm, of course I'm, you did. The whitest show ever. It was good, though. No, but. I saw <laughs> a black TV show. You're not going to do that. Okay. We don't care for it, but like I wasn't a big Family Matters fan, but oh, you just want to get more hot water. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You trying to get under our skin. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. It was a whole lot of people in that house. I it was. It was, but the fact that she wasn't old and the fact that she wasn't old and was playing that lady so well, I think was brilliant. Yes. Yes. I think that was brilliant. With the same thing would happen with Golden Girls. Oh, the, Golden the, Girls. the older mama, yeah, she was she was the youngest one out of the whole crew. Mm-hmm. That's what? why she outlived them, right? Mm-hmm. No, Betty now, White. I think she died, she died recently because Betty White is still alive. Yeah. But she didn't she she outlived most, most of them, but she was the youngest one on the show. Yeah. So the main yep. character's mother was actually younger than all the rest of the actresses. Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. i wow. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. And she always was coming in with the one-liners and the zingers. She was just oh, boom, oh, and then oh, leave the scene. Yeah. She was cold. Yeah. I love they her. Were, their chemistry, ooh, unmatched. Yeah. Yeah. Unmatched on that that's, show. That's why I want to do a show with like my friends. Like the show that Clayton was like Clayton had Clayton Thomas had an amazing show. Um, and it was all friends on it. When I tell you that show was gonna be fantastic, because not only were we friends in real life. We were all comics, so the jokes were just, I mean, power. What show are you referring to? Uh, it was a Life with CT. Harvest was going to produce, remember? Oh, Donnie. Donnie, Life Donnie. Yeah, yes, Life Donnie. Yes, Donnie was a good show. Mm. Oh, yes. yes. Is yes, it, yes, I guess yes. the hour? We shot that, um, no, we shot the, um, the pilot. The pilot. But yeah, man. It was, wow. it was good, though. It was, it was really, really good. I, ho- I wish they would shop it somewhere else. They shot it to show it to a certain network who put it off and kept putting it off and didn't give an answer. And I wish they would just shop it somewhere else because it was such good. It was such a good cast. You guys were hilarious. It, um, it was so yeah. good. Oh, oh man, it was so good. That would have sure. been that would have been it. But you know what, man? Everything happened for a reason. So, you know, it, it I always believe that wholeheartedly and I can't explain it and can't tell you what the what the what the uh reason is, but ownership it'll come back around. It'll come ownership. Back around. Us yeah. having our own because he wrote that with someone. There mm-hmm. it is. There it is. And Let me now, tell you something. The show me, Kev, and Tony are gonna write with Angel. That show is going to be ridiculous. And then to all break out and have our own show and have our own crew on each show and have exclusively on the app until one of these networks comes and be like, hey, uh, let us license it for $10 million. I'm like, okay. You can like it, still own it. There you go. That's what I'm about. Creating and then letting people acquisition it, but still having it be If you cast an auctioneer, then let me know because I could play that role. Rob, of all the, of, of, of no, you the can't. Roles, of all the roles, Rob. So, Rob, if but you no, if you could do so a, if you could do an auctioneer's voice right now, Rob, uh, I will cash out. Right. Audition but exclusive. It would be funny as hell to have him as an auctioneer with his actual voice. Just going mm-hmm. that slow. <laughs> like that. If if you do a convincing yeah, auctioneer right now, I'm gonna cash out you fifty dollars right now. I want to okay. hear this. I hear fifty. Do I hear fifty one? Do I hear fifty two? <laughs> I hear 53. Oh, anybody know 54? Okay, 53. 53. All right, 54. Wait. 
You don't keep going up if nobody bid. No, no, no bids. I'm never jumping there. What's up? So, <laughs> to the <laughs> lady who's got over it. Rob, <laughs> let me say something, man. As, as your dog, man, that was the funniest <laughs> shit ever, but you are horrible. <laughs> as we knew he would be. Oh, this is yo, that is so funny. Now we got to figure out how to put it in the script. Tony, if you're still in here, please don't ever forget that we got to figure out how to put Rob in something as an option there. Look at that. <laughs> Opportunity. Look at uh, that. Oh, beautiful. God. Speaking of his yeah. regular slow ass tone voice. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You put out an extra slow. I don't. You, you, you said you don't feel like you're talking slow? Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm normal. <laughs> 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 like, no. <laughs> Lord have mercy. didn't even say that confidently. You was like, I mean, you know, I feel like I'm normal. Like, he didn't even normal. finish the sentence. Yeah, that's a bit here, now, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to get to the end of my sentence when I get there. <laughs> that's the exact perfect pace right there, Chloe. Cleo. That's it. This, oh, yeah. Rob, Rob would be the perfect character in a movie or a show that always tells you a story, but you don't know where it's going. So you'd be like, man, you know, the niggas rolled up on us. And you'd be like, word? You'd be like, yeah, and they dropped off the food for the pantry because they had been saying that they was going to do it. But then some random dude jumped out his car with a gun. A gun? Like a water gun for the kids. He had brought them to the page <laughs> to kids be up there. Before we know it, six people had got shot though. People wait, people got shot, they got vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob leaves you with the cliffhanger. Like, what did it really happen? Just take it to me, my nigga. <laughs> Get to the end. Mm. <laughs> so It'll be so funny though, Rob. Rob, you hilarious, nigga. You are I hilarious. Agree. Uh, I agree. God damn, that shit is funny. Keisha, the, your role is gonna be the person that just watches all the black cinema, like, and then you quote it back in real conversation. So, what I need you to do to prepare for this role is uh -oh. watch the fucking movies on the list. <laughs> She's first of all, do it. but to hear. She saw Poetic Justice. I actually wrote, I wrote something. Um, I did. I saw. Y'all better put some respect on that. Um, <laughs> I, I'm actually writing the series here, and I, I want you to play my agent. Your agent? I got you. Whatever you you're need. Very, you're, you're, you're very, um, you're not a very good agent to hear. You do what you do oh. best. You just be yourself in real life. Just hey, laugh. you got the power line. See, Keisha, you would know that if you if you saw the Goofy movie, you would know what this power line. I thought that was a Lego. What uh, was that? What did you say you thought it was? At first, it looked like a Lego man. Put that back up. <laughs> Put it back up. I just glanced right over. I'm so here, I'm trying to be patient. She don't. She don't want patience from us. We got Keisha, what? Is Keisha is content on being that person right now. I'm, I'm convinced. I, I'm trying. Oh my God. So when I try to learn, when I try to, I'm trying to take this thing in, this character. Who is that? That's not Goofy. That's his son. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. God. Keisha, Keisha, Goofy's son name is Max. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's Powerline. Who is okay. the baby mama? We don't meet her. You never see her. So he's a single father. He's a single black, father trying to do his best. So he's a single father black. trying to do his best, Keisha. So he's trying to do his best. All of a sudden, black. You have slick living raising his voice, and he's usually a mild mannered man. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm so trying shocked. To learn I'm here, so guys. Shocked. I can't learn this environment. What was that thing? <laughs> Powerline is like the Drake in a goofy movie. He oh, he was a rapper. That's a, that's a great analogy. That's a great mm -hmm. analogy. He was a rapper. All comparison, rather. That's a great comparison. He was a rapper in the movie. Is that what? Like, he, he, like, he, like a great. he was like a, pop, like a popular music artist in the movie. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to be like Powerline. Yes. And, and Goofy's Powerline. son wanted to be just like him too. Yes. Yes. It's, I mean, y'all act like, y'all act like we talking about Cicely Tyson. Like, I just got to know who Powerline is. She might be in a Goofy this, movie. Have you seen a lot of movies that Cicely was Tyson in? Cicely Tyson is 250 years old, huh? 
Have you seen a lot of movies that Cicely Tyson was in? Um, you know, I've seen a few. I've seen a couple here and there, you know. I don't she believe her. Nobody believes you. I don't I don't believe I don't believe Keisha now. Now I don't know what to I believe. Get about back to Keisha. I'm trying to understand. We had long because <laughs> he pulled out power line. You owe him an apology and then we can move on. Stuff. I don't understand, Keisha. I asked you your, your top three films, and you couldn't give me your three like, okay. films. So what are you watching? What did you grow up watching? Yes, we understand. You had four, you had year-round school. You were she playing sports. Going on. But your, both of your brothers had the option to watch the film. So where was you, and what, what did you watch? I wasn't watching movies. Like, two hours. If I had two hours, I could go... I could be... I could break down my fucking computer in two hours and put it back together. That's So I you were like a... Honor roll 4.2 GPA. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Daily activity. What you doing? Know? Breaking the computer down again. You know oh, me. I'll find man. something else to do with two hours hey. of my time. I wasn't. I, I really, honestly wasn't sitting down watching movies. Hey, Rob, you know how people break the guns down and clean them? Like, me and them. That's Keisha. <laughs> You're breaking down that motherboard, removing the monitor, <laughs> ruining them books. You know, what's in here? What's going on? Let me see. Like, yeah. <laughs> I watch stuff here and there. Um, but no, I don't know power line. Now y'all getting y'all getting weird too like, technical. Like, like he's right there. Like, yeah, like I, I said, I didn't know. He's like right though. there. I just don't understand. Different. She didn't watch Blade. <laughs> Her actually, lip. Her oh, list yeah, is so weird. long. Yeah, like, <laughs> did you say that you did you say you didn't see dead presidents either? No. Oh, Oh, I think you just be playing with us, girl. Just for for real, I like for real. Y'all be really like you playing. Mad, y'all really be like you funny. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> playing, girl. And then playing. some stuff, I be like, why did y'all see this? Be like, oh, you gotta watch New Jack City. It's all it's crackheads. It, why was y'all watching this at eight? <laughs> Help me understand. What was hey, listen, what it's was one line. It's one line. I love New Jack City, but it was one line that even as a kid, I was like, that don't sound right. When Ice T was like, I want to shoot you so bad, my dick is hard. I was like, that don't. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the problem. Yeah. You wasn't watching that as a kid. That don't that don't sound no, nah, but even as an adult, as like adult, now as an work. adult, when I just repeated that, it's like I just like that. Don't I ain't never wanted to. Shoot you know what? I, um, today, CT and I, we okay. Funny story, but I really like the movie Grease too. I might lose my black heart for saying that. Um, I know a lot of straight black people don't like Grease too, but we watched a little bit of it today. And then <laughs> Tony Baker's logging off and deleting his own Instagram. <laughs> then we watched that was for you, though. That wasn't for you. Exactly. Exactly. But she didn't watch we, Grease. So y'all but then we knew. then Y'all's we watched true. Grease one a little bit today. And as soon as John Travolta came on camera, his very first shot as him as a gangster with a leather coat is he looks over his shoulder. He has blue eyes. He walks up to another gangster, puts his hand on his penis, goes pop, and then puts his hand on his hip and then starts the scene. And I'm like, did we not notice this? Like, Grease is a classic and people are shocked that, you know, I thought oh my God, he like might be gay, movie. but it is. But he There's was supposed to be famous. tough, but he yeah. like popped the guy's penis and then put his hand his, and looked over his shoulder and I was just like, oh, this was so paused out. But he was the tough guy in the movie. But when you're little, you don't notice that kind of stuff. So we didn't notice the, the paused out statement that um, you just quoted to hear. You, you, you also don't notice that everybody in Greece was 27, even though they're supposed to be in high school. John <laughs> Yes, Michelle Pfeiffer star Greek. in, in was, Greece too. She was like 30, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> We don't know this. What? Michelle Pfeiffer's in Greece too? She's the lead yeah. in Greece too. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've never seen Greece too. What were you Keisha, doing? Keisha, Keisha, you Keisha, 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 Keisha. What I tell you about the neck? What I tell you about the neck, Keisha? You're not, not allowed even to close. Do that. You're not, not allowed even to do close. that. Not even close. You don't know that? Mm -mm, Keisha, Keisha is in pose position. Y'all know that's how she take her pictures. She probably over there taking selfies. She only I was, I was doing her pose earlier. Keisha, the hair is laid though. I would tell you, the hair looks phenomenal, Keisha. The hair looks Always. Awesome. Thank you. Always. I really just did it myself right before this, and I, I'm terrible at doing my own hair, so thank you. The hair looks phenomenal, but your mm. your disrespect to our black cinema is just... I'm is, not disrespecting it. I am trying to catch up, but every time I try to watch one movie, y'all hit me with 25 more movies. So <laughs> We're trying to get you up to speed. You can't just watch one movie a month, Keisha. You got to work harder at this. I'm what I'm saying is it's never ending with you people. 
It's it's That's always. Cool. What, do you, what do you mean by you people? I knew it. I knew that was coming. You're not black enough to say that to us. Oh, apparently, I'm not. Okay, I'm a prepaid black car. I. It's just. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did she say I'm on the yeah. prepaid? I got a rush right now. I love it. I love the it. Rush car. Too I much going it. on in 2021 already. Oh, oh, exactly, Tony. That's exactly Tony said it best. We are in quarantine. You got time because you ain't do you ain't got that many self tapes. And Tony, and Tony, what have I done? Did I not just watch Poetic Justice? Okay, you're not going to keep bringing that up as if that's the one thing that's going to get you your black car back. That's, that's not going to be enough, sis. Did I not just sit through Janet Jackson? She chewed 32 packs of Double Man in that goddamn movie. Did I not sit through the whole... I feel like I don't want her to watch these movies now because she's going to disrespect them all. Yes, and then yes, we're going to be not upset even good. more. Not they're good. Coming to America was great. I give y'all that. Y'all got to stop saying that everything is a must-see when it's not at all... Uh, anything. What is like first, can't get back. First, first of all, if y'all haven't seen her review of poet, Poetic Justice, please go watch it. The funniest shit you said to me, you was like, how bored do y'all gotta be to go with some niggas to deliver mail? Like that. <laughs> I was really just thinking that watching movies like, y'all ain't had shit else to do this weekend. And she oh, can't turn no. Louis luggage. Nice. She blew it out. Like, y'all nice. going somewhere. Right. I, Laugh loud at the car wash with my mask on. I was just trying to make sense of it. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. That's a good point. I give you that. I've been bored though. I've been very, my, my cousin was a truck driver and he used to go cross country. And I rode with him one time. We were driving from St. Louis and we were headed to New York. Man, I was like, never. Again, because here's the thing: it would have been fun, but my cousin is one of those. Guys, you know, somebody you cool with, but you be like, ah, I can never live with them, and you know it just by getting in their car. You get mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I didn't. I, I, that's what happened. He was peeing in jugs because he didn't want to stop, and I was just oh. like, mm. this, this ain't gonna work. How old were you? Um, I was in high school at the time, so I had to be like seventeen. Yeah, it had to be like like 16, 17, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. East St. Louis, she ain't got shit to do. <laughs> mm, there she go. Get her to here. But you know what's crazy, though, Keisha? While while he was driving, I was in the back watching all the black cinema. <laughs> making sure that I was up to speed on all the references in school. That's, That's why you had time to watch all the black movies. I'm trying, people. Just No, you're not me. trying. You're not trying, Keisha. Listen, show the list again. Show the list again. Because last time I saw it, I only saw two or three things that were actually scratched off, which means you're not trying. Unless you got that, unless you got that last week, there's no reason for only two no, movies I, to, no, I to hear she saw Poetic Justice. I'm trying to find. <laughs> she said, what? You saw Poetic Justice. No, let's not forget that. And coming to America. Um, Did you see Cooley High? No, that's on the list here, right here. It's number, I don't know, 40. 106. Yeah, we know. <laughs> but wait, I don't even think some of these. Is White Man Can't Drunk a black movie? It's Wesley Snipes and Rosie Perez, so that makes it a black movie. Anytime you have two two minority leads, they make it a black movie. Even though I know seven fools that start with the letter Q. Sorry, talk to him. It's I was just a like, movie. You, know, I, you could argue against its, its blackness because... It's written what? by a white writer and directed by a white director in a big studio film, but it is a good movie. So y'all gotta come Color together. Purple, to Color Purple was directed by uh, Steven Spielberg. Color Purple was directed by Steven Spielberg. And yes, that was a big studio too. But it's based on Alice Walker's book. And the Color Purple is an all black cast. <clears throat> I'm going to, I thought The Wiz was a play. I'm gonna start Keisha. with Keisha. Stop saying what you thought and I'll just so find the movies and watch them <laughs> and like them. Okay, that's how you get your card. I'm gonna start you. with um, Jason is weird. Y'all like pick another, pick another one. Pick, pick something else. Pick something else. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. So y'all need to get on one accord. Y'all need to figure out what I need to. See. We we are what agreeing. What we are agreeing to not before? see Jason's lyrics next. We are agreeing. And what's not? Put your hands down. 
Until you've seen at least 10 more of those movies. No, because Cleo was telling me that this isn't required. No, I didn't say it wasn't required. I said, don't watch that next. There's a million other on that. The poetic justice to Jason's lyric with the other stuff on the list is, is what is stressing him out. I would say if you're going to do Jason's lyric, you should put something a little lighter afterwards because you're going to be feeling a type of way after watching that. So maybe go heavy light. See, I don't have time yeah. for that. I'm not have now you seen the wood? Out. Have Thank you seen you, the Rob. wood? Rob is at least trying to help. Have you seen the wood? That's on my list. That's it's on her list. Watch, watch, the, watch the wood next. Right watch the wood next. Watch the wood before you watch Jason lyrics. Maybe we should. You should post the list, and we'll tell you in what order. You mm. know, I Instagram can tell you what order to watch things. Mm. I love that idea. I, I That's engagement right there. The order to it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then, how many can you commit to watching per week, Keisha? We need to, we need a public commitment. I have commitment issues. Um, a promise. Two. That's not enough. It's a quarantine. <laughs> Who is good to start out with? I need, I need, I'm gonna need Keisha to not Rob just watch it. I also, I also need Keisha to to do a movie report on each movie, like a book report. I need a you to do a movie report. report. I, I am. Need you, I need to know the director. I need to know the writer, and then I need to know the leads in this report that you submit to me and the entire all the guests, the, the panel of guests right now, and the plot because you could easily just get that off of. Um, IMDb. So mm -hmm. I need an opinion about it as well. And the the opinion needs to be that you liked it. And the, <laughs> the outcome needs to be that you enjoyed it. <laughs> the opinion needs to be that you liked it. This is a requirement of the assignment. Oh, Who's grading all these reports? Because they're going to have like this list like rolls out. I th I th well, here's the thing, Rob. If, if history has taught us anything, is that Keisha ain't going to do it. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know. First of all, to hear what your list is, but. What you talk about? Songs and whatnot. Keisha, first of all, what I did in that challenge was create an original song inspired by three different songs, but I made <laughs> it. I made, hold on, hold on, hold on, now, hold on, hold on. Now, let me tell you the genius behind it. It's a song and an arrangement that you had never heard. However, the words were familiar. One of the things that people love about concerts is going and being able to sing along with the artist. Now they had never heard my song before, but they knew the words. That's why I'm a that's why I'm a Grammy winning mm. multi-million selling artist because Teach. I think like a consumer. Teach. Right, but Teach. You, lost. you lost the entire matter of fact. Can we sing the song? I am sure. I love that song, by the way. My daughter started. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good at things. I love it. Listen, what you don't know is we're actually shooting a video for that. We we actually put we actually nice. put the song out. We actually shooting nice. the video. That's funny. The content I'm king over here. I love it. I'm with it. That's Kevin, funny. Kevin is ridiculous. Kevin wrote that show, song while we were we were filming. He had just won, and we had to create a challenge. He was like, "I'm going to write a song for to hear the sing." He wrote that song in like seven minutes. And then Jonathan just got on the guitar and we just, we that just, it happened like that. Beautiful. That's I'm, not, I'm not lying about the song, guys. I'm not lying about the song in the video. We actually are. We're actually going to record it and we're actually going to make a video about the song. So it's, uh, it's, it's happened. We had talked about it before Kev posted it today. I was like, yo, we really need to do this. So that's funny. It's, yeah, it got, it's it got a little, a little bop to it. They do. They do, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not good at things. <laughs> Somebody just come out and tell you that. Boxing out in a deal. You say what? Just, oh, shut up, Keisha. You should be boxing out with the football. Hey, can I, can I ask you guys a Michael Jackson question that I kind of realized last night? Come on with it, Cleo. I'm over here watching. Um, nice, Rob. Uh, yep. Okay. I see you, brother. Uh, watch. I, I watched the Remember the Times video. I watched Thriller. Uh, I've seen Smooth Criminal a million times and I watched Scream. But like the, the videos I want to talk about were definitely in the era of Remember the Time and Smooth Criminal and, and, and Thriller. I think Michael Jackson finessed the hell out of the industry. How Let so? me explain. Does anyone realize Michael Jackson shot many movies, right? Mm -hmm. He shot many films. 
then sold records, multi-million dollar records off of those songs, and then went and toured off of those songs. No studio, no actor could do what he did. And it just now hit me. I'm like, bro, he finessed the whole game plan from the jump. Yeah. He was shooting his films, making him the star. No mm -hmm. actor is going to get a chance to get residuals out, out of box office like he did. He was getting millions off of his record sales, and he toured. Dog. And he hardly did interviews to even do any press. Like, like getting to talk to him was like unheard of. Dude was dope. Oh. I, I mean, just now realized that. From Smooth Criminal is the part where he does like, like mm -hmm. this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I do that to all kind of songs. Like Smooth Criminal is not the only song I do that. Like if, if I don't know what dance to do, that is the move I'm going to. Every <laughs> that I stole from Michael Jackson. I never would think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn that lean. Listen, y'all imagine Rob doing that at a real party. It's a party. The world is open. Everybody's in a party. Like, hey, like do that. And then you see Rob. Body yaddy 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 I don't think I would recognize him if I saw him walk into a crowd, crowded party. Y'all know what he looks like just off top? I know what his yeah. cast looks like. Bingo. I, I'm a big fan of the down and dirty Three Six Mafia. So okay, Me too. okay. I came up on like the old Three Six Mafia. I'm mm -hmm. talking about with Scarecrow, DJ Paul, Juicy J, Kusta Nika, Gangsta Boo, the old Three Six Mafia. Back when I used to have to sneak and listen in the basement because my mama said it was devil music. Like that's the shit I came mm. up on. Mm. Was Crunchy Black in the group, then got kicked out the group? Like, what happened with that? I, love I feel that like name. Crunchy Black came later, because it was Cool okay. Sneaker first, Scarecrow, uh, DJ Paul, Juicy J, and Gangsta Boo. It was really, like, early rap, like, early mid-90s, late-90s rap. It was really just, it was Mia X, Gangsta Boo, Trina. Mm. I mean, cause this, this is after like the MC Lights, the uh, the Queen Latifah. All this is after that. This the, mm. this we're talking Kim about, like, Kim and Foxy. huh? Kim Foxy. Yeah, Kim Foxy. Yeah, but I, I was I was thinking more like South and West Coast, like because yeah, you, you know you, you know Kim and Foxy, but like like Gangsta Boo, Mia X, they weren't getting like major national radio play. Mm -hmm. Lil Chat, Deuces, Lil Chat was after Gangsta Boo. When it, at first, it was just Gangsta Boo. Like Southern groups only had like one chick at a time. It was, it was just that's that. the song I want. A Gangsta Boo. I want it. Is that that nah. song? Gangsta that's Boo. Like song. where them dollars at, Nick? Where them dollars at? Oh, I like that kind of music. Hey, hey. Okay, I didn't know the name of it. It is. This gonna blow your mind. I just, I just realized this a couple of days ago. The same. Tune of uh, where them dollars at from Gangsta Boo is the same thing to Show Nuff Tila Tila's uh, track. Uh, think about Show Nuff and then think about Gangsta Boo's where them dollars at and them shits are exactly exactly Ooh. the same. I don't know that song. We know you didn't know it, but I'm not. I know. No, I, I know might not. Music. I might not. But know this is a I new person. I don't know. I'm not. These new people. I'm not. Did you say I'm new? These ain't who new was, people. Who is this young lady? Gangsta Boo. Gangsta Boo. No, the boo, the other person you said. Nobody. There was. A, I said gangsta boo. Mia he, X. No, I said you Tila. said it's the same. Who? Oh, Tila. Tila's not new. That's and that's a guy. Tila. The song oh. "Show Up" with him, A Ball, and MJG. Oh, I don't know. That's Showing up, girls in the club, showing love, shaking oh, that oh, ass. Okay. okay, I know the song. Show I like that song. Love. Girls in the club, showing love, shaking that I know the ass. Song. I the show up. Where them dollars at, nigga? Where hey. them dollars at? Mm, mm, them oh. dollars. Same yeah. song. You know, okay. It's the same thing. I was like, oh shit, because randomly it just played back to back. I was in, I was driving and showing up played, and then 
where them dollars that came on right after. I was like, what the? F- this is the same, same song. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's a good DJ. JJ, JJ from the, uh, Mississippi. He's got JJ from the sip. He's got the JJ funniest, the sip. He's got the funniest joke about uh, show enough and like the bass player. Mm-hmm. And he like like he has some play to me. It's hilarious. It's on YouTube. I'm not gonna do it justice. But yeah, that dude. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna look it up after this. Yeah, it's very funny. Mm. <laughs> I like him. I always admire your knowledge of music to hear. I always have. I, you've put me onto you, some man. great artists for years. You've done this, and I'm glad that the world gets to experience it with you. Let me tell y'all how much I love music. I just bought this this punk ass four hundred dollar iPod Touch, right? Still got the home button. This is brand new, right? The reason I bought it, it was because I'm signed up for Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal. But when you sign up for Apple Music on your phone, it removes anything that's not on Apple Music. So all my my playlists with mixtapes, like the old, like, 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 no, well, not, not no ceilings, because that's, you can get that on iTunes, but like the old Wayne and uh, all the old, um, the, the baby, the baby's first mixtapes, all of that type of stuff that's not on iTunes, you can't play it uh, from from the while well, you got the subscription tied to your phone. So I bought this specifically for all my mixtape currency, all the mixtape Wale, all the mixtape Lil Wayne. That's the only reason I bought this so I can have all my mixtapes on here. Mixtapes. I have a question. Yes. Because I heard that would happen and that's why I never signed up for Apple Music. What's the reason that you have all three? Uh, streaming music uh, because I make playlists I make playlists and I put them out for for everybody and then it's weird but like one or two songs won't be on, won't be on there. they won't be on um on each platform because Spotify does its own concert series and they'll have like original versions of songs or live versions of it that won't be on Apple and so lecture radio which is a dope ass um we're well, not John but so lecture radio is basically like a, a playlist they put out a new one every every week it's two hours of dope ass good vibe music, and it's I found a lot of dope artists from there, and a lot of dope artists from Colors uh, Radio as well. So um, I have selection obviously on Apple, so obviously that's why I have Apple Plus. I have an iPhone, and then Title just because Black Dollars Matter. That's why I got Title, but mm-hmm. yeah, and and I love that they do concerts and they make mixes and all that stuff, and they did the Meg The Stallion concert. But I heard that if you did Apple Music, they would take some of your regular music out of your library, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Yeah. It's intrusive. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. So all my all my music is on here. I got probably three hundred and fifty six thousand songs on this playlist. Mm-hmm. I mean, on this on this hard drive. Then I have a backup of this hard drive that I I buy, I re back them up every month just to make sure mm-hmm. there are no no mishaps. You know, Keisha can take that apart if you need it to. <laughs> I know. Exactly. I sure can. She's actually done it for me before. So. <laughs> Were you gonna be an engineer, Keisha? I have a master's degree to be an engineer. Okay, got it, got it, got it. She really has did. Ke- has Keisha met Kadeem? I never actually met him in person, but I'm like just from doing the um, black yeah. master me and. Y'all two in tech talk would be amazing. I would love to see y'all two just. Oh, he's the one that said he never saw coming to America, right? Yep. He's in the clip. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No, that's me. That's me. I said I never saw coming to America. So this whole time. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, and this is where I have the problem. This is where I have the problem. Because I'm very consistent on what I need to see and what I don't. Nobody has a good reason for it. And then we have people like Leo seconds. who just sat here and just put me up on the cross. Let's and hear his. You, let's hear his excuse. Time, you haven't seen coming to America. <sighs> coming to America was way before my time. Way so before. Color purple. What do you mean? B- but different, you different telling, different no, telling. No, like the color purple no. comes from a place where, like, if you want to understand a performance, how they like really dug deep in their characters and had to bring emotions out, I had to watch the color purple. Boom! No, watch didn't. that. No, you didn't. Coming to America, the comedy, Eddie Murphy. I know Rob going to feel some type of way. I've never truly got in depth with Eddie's performances in his films. I just haven't. I just Anybody haven't. Else want to try? I just want 
I just want y'all to get them one time. So at this point, you don't want to see it because now that you've told people you haven't seen it, they've told you to go see it, and you're just like, nah. I'm I'm a, I'm a pass. The McDowell's thing and and the the royal penis is clean. I'm, I'm like, okay, I get it. And the uh, second one that comes out, wow. you're not gonna see that one either. You ain't seen it. How you the get audacity. it? No, no, I'm good. I'm what, 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 Keisha, 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 I'm gonna Eddie let you Murphy say what you want to say. Keisha. Say sorry. again, Rob. What Eddie Murphy movies have you watched? I watched Beverly Hills Cop. I watched uh, Shrek. Mm. Uh, that's about it. Oh, yeah. life. And life. Beverly Hills Cop didn't do it for you. Nah. Life was was great to me, but that's because the dynamic between him, him and Martin. Oh, the Nutty Professor. Um, what's the one where he had a he was a small version of himself in someone else's brain? Oh, I, uh, I auditioned for that movie too. Yeah, me, Dave. Just, me, audacity. Dave. Norbit saw that one. Okay, was he, he was he in Bullworth? He's in Bullworth, right? Yeah, him and Steve. Yep, saw that one. Yeah, that's yeah. About it. Speaking of Eddie, Golden Child, you didn't see Golden Child. I, I, I want to knife. Now, what's the base of your voice to hear with that? Don't you didn't see Golden Child? No. Well, you know what? Speaking of Eddie Murphy, uh, today when we were watching Grease and Grease 2, we also watched um, his songs. The um, Put Your Mouth on Me. Have you guys heard that song? Oh, yeah. And I, My Girl yeah. Was Party All the Time? Party All the party Time. Yeah. Just, party All the how Time. How could it be? Here's the thing Eddie, Eddie could actually sing. Right, you get he, mm -hmm. he, he was decent. He was no Jamie Foxx, but he could sing. It was just it it wasn't that time for him. Because nope. here's the thing: a lot of people don't know when Jamie Foxx came out. That was his second time trying to came out, ja trying to come out. Jamie Foxx had a um an album like right after In Living Color, I think. Yeah, um, oh, I remember that. And that joint it has it has some smooth little joints mm -hmm. on it, but like nobody took it seriously because he was a comedian. So they'd be like, yep. "Oh, Jamie Foxx." Stick to telling jokes, Tony Baker. And I don't know <laughs> fire on that. I think it was a song called Before the Sun Comes Up. Mm, I don't remember. But mm -hmm. looking at Eddie now, it college, looks like a song. I'll never put a condom on when that one's on. If I had one, <laughs> oh. on, throw it against the wall. Let's go. Let's hey. go. <laughs> <gasps> well, looking at it now, it looks like a spoof. Every time I see Eddie doing, um, like even in Dolomite, even though I love the movie and I love the message of the movie, you guys saw Dolomite, everybody? Show mm -hmm. of hands, saw Dolomite, the new one. Mm -hmm. Show of hands if you saw Dolomite, the new one. I'm looking down at the bottom square oh, on the oh, right. Really, Show really, of really hands if you saw you know Dolomite. Okay. Anyway, everything. I'll let Cleo get away with this coming to America, but we'll, come on. Okay. Because well, everything on your on list today. I've seen. How about that? Everything on my, your list, I've seen. You don't get away with not seeing a good movie or Blade. I don't care. You didn't see Coming to America. You sat here this whole time all righteous, acting like you didn't see every he single. Quiet. The spotlight him, wasn't on me, Keisha. It was on you. Look at your list. You have a whole book of the film you haven't it seen. It doesn't matter. Don't you, you realize Powerline no is kind of dressed like Eddie Murphy delirious? You realize that, right? Hey, to hear, keep, keep talking. Right, right. Right. I mean, what you say? You talking to me? I'm talking. I was talking to Cleo. Oh. Also, don't let the name of the song was called "Don't Let the Sun Go Down," and the name of that first album from Jamie Foxx was called "Peep This." And just listen to "Don't Let the Sun Go Down." That one is, it's the longest song on the album. I think it's like five minutes and like twenty nine seconds. Um, and the album came out, I think, in uh, ninety three. I'm not. I'm definitely not looking on Spotify right now to give you guys this information. Jamie Foxx wrote T-shirt and panties. Him and Adina Howard performed it. That was that that song right there. It's a so good song talented. still. Good song. No condom. So <laughs> go raw, go raw. Kind of I'm, like I'm poking a hole in my own condom. You don't even <laughs> gotta worry about it, Shawty. I got you. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of Bernard, <laughs> listen. Um, <laughs> Keisha's brother. Come on. Speaking of going raw. My name is spelled oh, like God. this. Holla. <laughs> Just saying. Let me let me live, Keisha. I can do, do your thing. Do your thing. <sighs> I can't. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, man. I I me and Cleo are just starting to get close because we, we've always been in each other's circle, but we never had a chance to like exclusively hang out. So we was like, oh yeah, man, we gotta do this. And then he said he ain't seen coming to America after all of that. We was playing plans and stuff, and I just be like, 
Man, where y'all where y'all been, bro? Like where? Where y'all and been? And he didn't qualify. He didn't even qualify to be on this black car committee judging me. Keisha, he's seen more black cinema than you, though. Tear, so tear, like, tear, tear. We, we talk about him not seeing Cup come to America. I he's a lot younger, I, right? Yeah, yeah, Keisha. Yeah, he is. He's he's younger than us, Keisha. He is younger. What does that mean? That, that means that there's. Oh What's shit! Oh shit! <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> You know what seals it, Ted? You know what seals it is the goddamn white gloves, the white. And the way gloves. he sat down. <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> Rob said, "Powerline dressed like who?" Powerline was dressed like, like Eddie Murphy. That's a whole lie. I highly you disagree. Just, look at the belt. Oh, that's, that's from like the, the movie? Movie? I thought that shit was Star Trek itself. This is the delirious <laughs> belt. Come on. This is the delirious belt. Well, the way it looked when you turned around. Yo. You look great. That's an Eddie Murphy wall right there. I disagree, Yo, Keisha, Holly. Y'all, Keisha said. Shut up, oh, to that's from the Goofy movie? I thought that was Star Trek as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is She just crapped all over. I thought that, that shit was Star Trek as hell. I <laughs> I was like, that was okay, weird flex. <laughs> Dog, dream come true. So this is him from the movie. I had to go get it. So this, this, is, is, this is power line. This isn't goofy or a goofy son. This is yeah, that's this that's the Drake. That's power that's line. Drake right there. Whew, okay, what is this movie about exactly? A single father trying to hold it down for his son. And then what are the rapper coming to play? That's his role model. Bingo. Okay. Max trying to impress a girl. He lied about knowing power line. They got to go on a whole family trip. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. And what is it? What exactly is the title? We just call it a goofy movie. A goofy movie. Don't watch an extremely goofy movie. Just watch a goofy movie. Keisha, do you know who Tevin Campbell is? Don't 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 do me. I'm just I'm just asking, it's a yes or no question. Qu given everything that we've yes, learned I about know you tonight. Tevin Campbell is. Okay, so Tevin Campbell voiced Powerline in the movie. So oh, okay, so he's a singer, or he was Tevin Campbell was actually rapping. Oh my god, he he was a he was a singer in the movie. That's what I'm asking. I'm asking solid questions. Y'all made it seem like he was rapping, so he's a no. We just said he was popular like Drake. That's what we said. He's a Drake. Okay. Why wouldn't you say like the Chris Brown? Never mind. Okay. Listen, you know, you, you, what you're doing right now, you're projecting, you're projecting your lack of effort. I'm going to watch the movie. You see Lion King. That ain't enough. No, you got to see the Goofy movie. Lion King and Chris. That was a fire album. I know music. They made a whole movie in Africa. No people. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um, oh, God. I'd like to thank a couple people for cash apps while you guys continue to make fun of Keisha. We we okay. that pass. We we gonna oh, do okay. it in two minutes. We do it at the end. Got gotcha. you. Yes, Jeez. yes, sir. I'm doing that, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm trying. I love when Rob does that laugh. It's like almost like one of the hyenas from Lion King when he does it because it's so random. You never know it's coming, but. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes back to the straight face. Look at the straight face. Right, like, he like it wasn't him. <laughs> He's looking up something. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, it's, yo, this is so funny, man. All right, well, we we almost about that time to get up out of here, man. This was this, this literally just felt like we were sitting around talking with the homie. Like, we were all in the same place. We met up for drinks and we forgot to start drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love your laugh, dear. Why you stop, right? Why you? Why you trying to? Be I realized, like I was in, I heard it myself, and then I was like, dang. Pick on somebody your own size, like you, like a, you know. I was like, let me, let me stop. Yo, that's so funny. All right, we're about to get ready and do these sign-offs. Um, if we're about to get up out of here, guys. So if you want to bless the guests, 
real quick. Go ahead and do that. You got a little more time to go ahead and bless them real quick. You see that cash steps up. If you got it, they would greatly appreciate it, as will I, uh, for taking care of my people while they're here. And also, you can bless the more mod. I'm sorry, more mods. Uh, it's dollar sign M O D M O. I'm sorry, M O O R E M O D S. Um, you can bless them real quick as well. I forgot to change my name to them, but uh, we, we got it out here. And no, Ephraim, we will not stop talking about Keisha. Keisha brought this on herself. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. You brought this on yourself. So, she, no, so, thanks somebody for protecting black girl, women. Girl, 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 we love black women. We it becomes protect protect protecting black women. Black women. Yes. <laughs> you see no black content attacking me. Like, damn, I'm trying my best. What for me? For me. All right. Keisha, anyway, um, let's go. Um, uh, let's go, Rob <laughs> and uh, uh, Keisha Cleo on the sign outs. Cool. All right. Um, appreciate you having me to hear this was this is a really fun uh night. Um you guys can check me out on Sherman Showcase. We got a new uh season coming soon. Um Morris Day just posted me doing an impression of him on his Instagram. I'm pretty hype about that. Um, and also uh I have an album that's available if you haven't checked it out. It's called Hazelpedia. Um and my cash app is Rob Hayes, Instagram Rob Hayes, Twitter is Robert is the man. <laughs> Cute. There it is. All right. Uh what you got for on Tange? I would first like to thank the people who have sowed seeds onto this tangerine tree. So shout out to Beer Jedi said Tangerine Team CT all day and talking this oh taking the stage for zooming with the homies Young Deuces for Young Deuces of Geek Set. I want to thank Eric Dual for a Black Queen. Thank you, Eric. Kokisha, ooh, Kokisha sent me that Young Forty, so I'm gonna say them out because I appreciate that. Uh, hilarious zooming with the homies. Get Keisha is what she said. <laughs> I hope I hope I did you proud. Shout out to LeBaron uh, doing the world of flavor. He sent a nice amount of money as well. Kim Younger for the laughs. She says thanks. My uh, this person says amazing as always and says don't say his name and shannon sent some money for zooming so thank you i hope i got to everybody you can watch me on facebook and youtube every tuesday and thursday i stream at three o'clock pacific it's a talent show tomorrow called tangerine's top talent you can come and do anything from singing dancing rapping poetry i've had pole dancers on rubrics cube solvers while they're doing spoken word whatever that's every tuesday facebook and youtube just look for tangerine and on thursdays i have shoot your shot the first and only interactive quarantine dating game show. I will eventually have Keisha E on there if you guys will have her, knowing what you know about her now. And to hear and Farron will be on there as somebody you can shoot at very soon as well. Also, watch me on TV. I'm on a show called Family Time every week on the Bounce Channel. And I have a new show coming on the UMC app, which just changed their name to All Black. And it's called Millennials, starring me and Top Notch Teresa and King Kiran. I got that juice box. Um, you can just follow me on Instagram at official tangerine and keep up with all this stuff. Cause I know that was a lot, but thank you so much for having me to hear. It's always a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, should I put my shade back on my bed? Okay. It's the lip bite every time. I did it because of the shoot your shot. Oh, bro. that's right. That's right. The lip bite. To so here's going to be on shoot your shot. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, lip bite. Oh, Girl's jacket. Oh, get it. Get it. <laughs> Go ahead, Keisha. Um, I want to say thanks again to here for having me on as usual. It feel like it's been like forever. I don't know. Just from that small little break from 2020 to 2021. Um, yeah. Shout out to everybody. My I, I can't see all of my cash apps because I'm actually on my phone right now. But thank you um, mm. to everybody mm -hmm. who has sent a cash app. Appreciate you. Um, you can, I pretty much post everything I have coming up on my Instagram. It's Keisha.e, K-E-Y-S-H-A dot E. Um, I'm currently on a show on UMC, which is also, I probably should know this. What is it called now? All black. All what black. is it called? All black. All black. All black. Uh, just edit that out. <laughs> called For the Love of Jason. You can check that out. Um, and yeah, just follow me on Instagram. I post everything there. All right. And I got two 
Uh, what you got for young Cleo with the glasses on too? Come on, play boy. I see you out there now. <laughs> hey, man. First things first. I just want to say, if Keisha is not doing watch parties live with the, you know, with with her followers, she's missing out. Keisha, I need you to go make your Patreon account, and I need you to have people watch the movies with you. Watch them live. People would love to hear your live commentary over films you've never seen. I, for damn sure, would pay to watch you watch a movie from your list for the damn first time. I really would. Um, shout out to everyone who hit me uh, with a cash app from Muhammad to take the siege. Eric Dulé, Young Deuces, LeBaron, uh, Shannon S. Desmond, K. Ron, Shamara Thomas, uh, Hadija, Brandon Owens, and Chanel. I really do appreciate it. I always appreciate coming on Zoom with the homies. Love to hear to death. Uh, the Powerline video, if you're wondering why the hell I have this suit, Halloween, I put up a great uh, live action version of the last scene that we see Powerline actually performing eye to eye. We shot that during the quarantine. It was an incredible experience. Uh, dope as hell. Yep, we did do the perfect cast. It's in there. Um, look forward to the Batman Beyond project coming in 2021. Me playing Terry McGinnis, uh, training with Guy De Silva, who is the Black Panther stunt double, and a lot of stuff coming from the RK Tokens, All Dev Gaming, and catch me on twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. I'm looking to become one of the must-watch channels on the Twitch platform. So mm. see me there. Mm. Mm. There it is, man. Um, first and foremost, man, I want to give a huge shout out to the more mods, uh, making it amazing uh, to continue to do the show, making it very easy for me. Uh, just I'm, I have an amazing team, man. We we are really out here doing it, and I thank you guys uh, tremendously. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you for rocking with me. Shout out to the more mob as well. Uh, the people on the Discord and the people on the Patreon, man. I appreciate you guys. Of course, shout out to the Scary Squad and a huge shout out to the Rewatch Gang, man. I definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in whenever you get a chance to, when you get off work, after you put the kids to bed, after you finish dinner, whenever. I appreciate you. Now, before I go on any further, I want to give a shout out to LeBaron because he's a real one. He heard me talking about Mama's Family and he bought me the complete collection of Mama's Family and he just sent it to my house. He bought it on Amazon. And he said wow. he already skipped it. So shout nice. out to the bears. The bear is a real one, dog. Thank Listen, yeah. listen. All of this happened from just good energy, man. He tuned into the show, then we connected and popcorn world. He sent some stuff. It was fantastic. I told people about it. Other people told people about it. And that type of synergy, man, cannot be faked. Are, are duplicated, man. So shout out to LeBaron, man. Shout out to Popcorn World. Shout out to DoingTheWorldOfFlavor.com. If you haven't had it, go try it. You will be amazed. I promise you so that. Good. Um, so good. Next up, I want to give a shout out to... Let's get it going. Um, uh, hey, Ron Livingston, Evan L, Chanel, uh, Shannon, Erdul, Young Deuce is on the track, you know what I'm saying? Uh, taking the stage, Tamir, Low B, Takeda Tucker, I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for the donations. Definitely, definitely appreciate you guys. Tomorrow's a new episode. Uh, oh, that's another banner I need to make for the other shows. Tomorrow's a new episode of um, uh, More to the Story. Make sure you check that out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, you like the like um, it's going to be great. We got Angel Tanksley on there. Angel Akita Moore Tanksley will be on the episode along with her husband Tank. It's going to be a fantastic episode. And then on Wednesday, I want to give a big shout out to my team over at Transit Pictures because we got we got hit with another quarantine and stricter lockdown rules. And I didn't have but one episode left in the can for Word is Hard. And that was the one with Melissa, which came out last week. So we had to I had to literally reach out to some people. But tomorrow, I I'm sorry, not tomorrow, but Wednesday, I have one of my favorite rappers. Mr. Currency, a.k.a. Hot Spitter. Talking mm -hmm. Zooming with the homies. We had to do it virtually, but we are in the office, me and Maya. Uh, we got Currency on it. It's a fantastic episode. It is so fucking funny. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And I got more people that you guys have been asking for in the weeks to come. So please, please, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the videos. Make sure you tell a friend. Uh, we're going to keep this going, man. I appreciate you guys. And I am going to make this a night show. You heard it here. I'm going to figure out how to make this shit pop. And uh, we're going to do it just like hey. that. You know, man, I want to thank my amazing guests. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for pulling up on us and having a great time with us, man. Uh, could not do it without you guys. And we will see you all tomorrow on another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Peace. Oh, <laughs>